Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are Random Encounter Productions. I'm Cody Stone. With me tonight, we have... Cassandra, playing Miku and Tempest, the Arctic Druid Air Genasi. Megan, I'm playing Captain Madeline Lohan, the human swashbuckling rogue. And I am Erica with a K, playing Neon, the blind Tenenbri Paladin. And I'm Samantha, and I am playing Ro, the Tiefling Storm Sorcerer. So, guys, a couple of quick announcements. First of all, thank you for hanging out with us. Sorry for our late start. We had a little bit of technical difficulties to get us going but we are here and we are excited to be playing with you guys so um first thing our special shows well some of our special shows for the week have been uh pushed back so scion we're probably going to be doing not this friday but next friday uh as well we'll be moving the scarred lands from this tuesday to next tuesday so we're going to be dark on tuesday uh, Wednesday, we're going to be back with Disasters in Danger. Thursday is second edition. Are we streaming that while we film it? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We might be. Check it out. And then we've got, uh, we're going to do Shadowrun on Friday and Gloomhaven on Saturday. So so a nice, mostly normal week for us. And um, next week, we've got something very special coming out. We are working on uh, releasing our podcast. So if you're a patron, you uh, can look forward to getting early access to that on Saturday. Yes. On Saturday. So that's going to be really awesome. Um, we're going to start with our sort of second year relaunch uh, season two that we've been going through. And it's a great way and a great time for new people. If you want to share us with your friends um, for them to jump in and start listening. So you should definitely share us with your friends. Yeah, it Please should be. Sorry, please share us with your friends. Should be a lot of fun. Um, other than that, do we have any big announcements that we need to go through? Oh, yes. Our friends over at Haunted Mountain, um, they do a whole bunch of game stuff, but they also do geeky jewelry uh, based on characters. They have some character-themed pieces from our show, so go over there and check those out, as well as things from like Critical Role and a bunch of other shows. And they also have some... Like Halls of the Toymaker, yep, adventures that they've they, written. They write their own pieces. Um, they're starting the new one. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll be out by the end of summer. So Ooh. I'm very excited. Do we have yeah. a name for it yet? Not yet. Oh, okay. Stay tuned for that. Um, that feels like everything I know that we should say right now. <laughs> Anything else? It's ladies night. It is. No one got excited about that at this table. I thought they would. Yes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes, and <laughs> ladies night. Good. We're all altos. <laughs> oh, I'm a soprano. Yes. Well, I'm clearly so. a bass. I'll be the tenor. <laughs> Look, perfect. Yes. We're done. <laughs> I'll I just conduct. Forgot. I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want me singing. So. Barbershop quartet hats. hats. Ah, that's what we need. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up the druid. Uh, I just misread a spell. <laughs> it said druid grove. I thought it was druid groove, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, what's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. The druid groove. The druid's new groove. <laughs> Let's like, change y'all. Let's get damn nice. <laughs> Druid's groove. Uh, <laughs> you've thrown off the Druid's the groove. Sorry. <laughs> Turns out it's not the Druid's groove, but uh, still good. But now there will be a Druid's I groove. Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> now I just want to play a Druid that is literally just like Fem Cusco. That's all. Awesome. Like the Earth. So so Cusco. Yeah. So basically Cusco. <laughs> oh yeah, this stuff was not on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, let's get into our adventure. Oh, no, we've got something. No, because now my, without my glasses, it's investiture. Yes. Of flame ice, but I, I saw um, Institute. Oh. <laughs> institute of Fire. Well, that's fun. What was wow. the Institute no. of Fire? No, oh, it, it doesn't leave you with a, with a Degree. diploma. So. These spells are in depths. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was a real burnout. Uh, uh, I'm, I'll be here. She can stay. <laughs> I don't play a bard, but I will soon. Oh, look God. forward to it on Thursday if it streams. But if it doesn't, you know. Yep. Just I will it out there. just look for me. Look for the red hair. The rogues and misfits okay. will be. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have naturally red hair. Every time you've appeared on stream, you've been wearing this <laughs> wig. So when you're like, look for the red hair. In case that... you couldn't tell, <laughs> you ruined the magic. I'm sorry. Shh, this is totally. Natural. That's real yes. hair. 
Never call a girl on her weave, Cody. Carefully every time. (laughs) She's the one that called herself on the weave. She said, look for my red hair. You guys, <laughs> no, she's blind. She plays blind character. Yeah, I'm I'm she re-dye it. It. I'll redye it. I'll redye it. It's fine. There I'll you go. On top of that. <laughs> Where are we going tonight? Double weave. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Just in case someone tries to snatch it. Being an Asian guy wearing a bald cap, wearing a wig, wearing a bald cap. Um, been watching a lot of Community, so <laughs> so D and D. Yep. Our adventure has moved away from the continent of Rotom to the southern continent, where our heroes have traveled to a mysterious location known as the Wheel, a 20-mile-wide, growing mechanical city filled with wonders of the plains of law, as well as wild and weird inventions brought from all corners of the world, pilgrims taking this vast journey to commit their own offerings to the wheel. It is a place of interesting madness, one of pure progress, one in which the flesh is often sacrificed for the mechanical, but that is seeing rapid growth, both in design and ideas. They have traveled here in pursuit of two of Hal's victors, Lundus de Montenegro, a bard and... Uh, head of the Sathrian Brotherhood of Assassins, and his associate and good friend, the sorceress paladin, Caliber, living art. She's been brought here as an offering. They discovered Lundis um, impersonating a family member who works for the Empire, brokering this entire alliance. And Lundis disclosed to them that he believes the wheel is designed to be a form of time machine um, that once Caliber enters the socket altar, that she will in some way be able to control the temporal nature of the wheel. For proof of this, he has a journal of inventions created in the present day and in the hours to come. Um, written by Caliber herself that has been in the Imperial's libraries for hundreds of years. His idea, 12% of a plan, if anything, um, is that once they, once the wheel is active and it begins to travel through time and they go back into the past to drop off the book, that they will be able to somehow uh, free caliber from the wheel and uh, avoid suffering at the hands of the mechanist inevitables, um, extra planar beings dedicated to preserving the singular rule of time. Um, They are the entities that usually prevent time travel here in the multiverse. Time cops. Last adventure, you guys had traveled um, to the hidden uh, factory, Um, something, matrons of discovery, that word, there we go. You had met Raisa, the leader of the The matrons. Um, You saw them in the midst of an experiment as they created a power source out of a rip in reality, we're Mm -hmm. not sure, but there were tentacle monsters on the other side, but you helped. Everyone survived. And Risa agreed to assist you all. She currently asked you, I believe, for, was it six to eight hours to create the arc heart? Mm -hmm. So enough time for you guys to take a long rest Mm -hmm. as she would make a, take her great sword and turn it into uh, something that could channel and um, absorb the dangerous electricity and lightning running through the conduits that would lead to Hadron's heart. Hadron's heart, you have discovered, is defended by the prime, um, which you suspect to be an inevitable or something similar. Uh, You hope to go to Hadron's heart to convince the city um, that it is a time machine and so should be allowed to travel through time and thus gain allies against the inevitables. You guys are back at the Grease Monkey's Pit. Um, how many hours do you guys have left at the oh. end 
Oh, the last one. It, sure. it was like 30, 32 it was, when we last checked, but was it 30? 35. It was, I think we were. It, in time, oh, excuse me. That was my first one. The lap yep. took time. I think we were in the 40s, weren't we? I think we were like 42. Was it when we went in there it was 40 or? I can't remember if when we came I don't remember being down in the 30s because I got panicked. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I wrote down literally everything except that. It's okay. At some, yeah. at some point, my brain started going, All right. and I was like, uh, "Matthew, you got this, right?" Yeah, Ma- Matthew briefly mentioned the number, and then just should should be. Did he we'll work? reach out to Matthew. And from what I understand, and what we had briefly discussed, you guys had about um, at the beginning fifty five hours. We had taken at least two long rests since then. Mm-hmm. So we do know that we are down to 39. Okay. At so we are the, mm. at the most. Mm-hmm. And considering the hours of travel time as well as the actions in the yeah. in the other place, you're probably closer to 20s. Yeah, you might be to like mid 30s to low 30s. Okay. So like 30. Let's say low 30s. 31. Let's go with And 31. if we have some extra time, what a gift. Right. So we're trying to use gravity to hold the tears back. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. 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 Okay. You guys knew it from the start that you would not be able to complete all of these yeah. uh, tasks yeah. and errands. Yeah. Um, so. This does. You guys are nearing the time in which Calibre will be offered up to the socket altar um, in order to hopefully complete the grand design and fulfill multiple purposes, both ordained and, uh, well, just sort of desperately needed because you have also discovered Mm -hmm. that you you are free to leave the city anytime you want, um, but the time you choose to leave the city may not be the time that you arrive when you leave the city. Yeah. So. Cool. So. Cool. Yeah. So. So I think we should definitely wait to go to Hadron's heart until the arc heart is done, and we have some more backup. Okay. So we. I haven't spoken to Lubus. Hmm. I know you have, Mm -hmm. but we haven't. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind touching base with him. He may have some more information. And then also we might, by proxy, be able to talk to Caliber too, since he is kind of protecting her and with her. I mean, is she there? She's in the druids, the um, the fake druids. But that's not where he is. Yeah, right? I thought he had his own separate office. He is in the um, biome grove, where the living metal is grown. Uh-huh. And the, um, yeah, he's there in the mechanical wood and All stuff right. like that. They are they are both there together. The so the difference is this: Caliber is under constant imperial watch because she is that important. Lundis can make excuses to slip away. Right. Um, now it's up to you if you would like to hatch some sort of plan to kill all the imperials with him. That's on you. Mm. I don't know if we should move that way before we go to the heart because then yeah. if they're alerted to our presence. Then that I think we've already gone to visit them, haven't we? Visiting, yeah. I mean, it was like a, a diplomatic kind of sit down and talk, right? Kind that's, of thing. Yeah. That's so what that I'm that suggesting. Was, yeah. No, I'm no not, one is suggesting going in and guns blazing. No, this is <laughs> no. nope. <laughs> the difference is you. Was what I'm saying is you can speak with Lundis. Uh-huh. They will pro- if he allows you to speak with Caliber. It will raise suspicion. Or we could get away to because see the message are known. Then let's just go do the the robot things that are eating people. The bio recycler. Yeah. Things. Bio. Things. Yeah. Biomass. Whatever. Yeah. I believe it was biomass reclaimers. So Please go talk to Lundis. He he wants to talk to you. He may have more information about these reclaimers as well because they sound rather dangerous. But we also don't have too much information except that they yeah. appear to be a little bit large. Because I think it'd be good to talk about that first because they also seem to have a very high function in the city. So if we take them out, the city might turn against us because they're mm-hmm. functioning in the city in like a 
I guess for them a normal way. So we don't want to get the city on like our bad side because we destroyed a functioning part of the recycling system. Or mm-hmm. even sure if we think it's a shitty thing to do. Yeah. 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 We could always ask and see because it appeared as though there were bugs or machines or robots that had bugs that were causing issues within the normal function of it so that it was consuming. The ad was a bit confusing, but I think it sounded as though there were certain machines that weren't acting as they were to be expected. That was part of some of what I got from some of the information sources that there are certain machines that are acting out of bounds and there are bugs in the system that they are attempting to fix. Excuse me, thank you. But that is yet to be seen until we talk with any kind of officials who might be working with said machines. What do you think? So what did we just decide? <laughs> so we I think we're going to go people. talk to someone about to talk to Linda. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ask him first. Absolutely. We're gonna go talk to Linda. Okay. Do it. Um, we'll say that we start at the thirty-one hour mark, um, and it is. I would like all of you to make me survival checks, please. Ooh, net twenty. Nice. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oh, fuck. Six. <laughs> so that's a total 29. Very nicely done. Um, Maddie, you're a little overwhelmed by yes. the moving parts of the city and how nothing is ever where you left it. So, I'm also, at this point, I'm sure she's been sober for what is in real time a year. The cumulative hangover is killing her. Yeah. <laughs> so since you're so freaked out about it, Miku's keeping it together. Just to put on a show she for is. her because she's freaking the fuck out. But I just told her that 20. So she's looking super cool and chill just for your benefit because you look like you're not together. I would also like to help so that we can be the blind leading the blind. Oh. <laughs> Have to allow that. Okay. While we're going there, can I roll yes. a perception check to see if the ads that Risa has been putting out mm-hmm. have been maybe if people are kind of like if I hear, like, chatter that against, like, anti-core propaganda or whatever. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Give me... I'll take perception checks for everybody. Can same. I see if I put two together? Yes. Not yet. In a moment. 25. 25. Okay. And awesome. All the wisdom Someone checks. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Perception check, please, Maddie. No! <laughs> <laughs> we, got- we can wait till you're done eating. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's it's it's not about twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, that's the one I. Yeah, I would, it would have been a twenty regardless. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I perceive it. <laughs> you're, that's why you're so freaked out because you can see where everything is and where it used to be, but you don't know where to go now. Um, I'm not high. Yeah, <laughs> you're high. What are you talking about? Wait, what? How high are you? Five six. If you're one of the militia Etheridge, you have to tell me. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you guys are seeing the the ads are getting play. Um, they are getting sometimes they get disrupted when they are running. Um, it is dividing the city, but you can tell that it seems more people are anti-core than are pro-core. Good to know. Um, But the people that are pro-core seem to be the most violent or the or the most eager to commit violence. Life imitates art. Funny. Um. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. That's, that's good to know, though, yes. that we have the majority of the city kind of turning towards... Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Looking at it from that perspective now, I kind of just want to storm the Bastille. I don't know. I got some pent-up rage. I got to... <laughs> mm-hmm. How about... Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's punch re- things. Let's, let's, let's redirect that rage towards a dangerous machine. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's, let's move that rage towards diplomacy. Constructive target. <laughs> Diplomatic Ow. rage. No! <laughs> I'm hot. I would like. I want to wanna punch something. Yeah! Diplomatically rage. <laughs> Diplomatic rage. Diplomatic rage. The methed out Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> you know who's probably good for that? Lundis. Blanche is not here. No, yeah, no. I just remember it was something I <laughs> saw, I read. Done. No, and I think it was oh. Florida Man. Oh, no, God. it might not have been, but it was somebody gave their pet squirrel meth yep, to Florida encourage man. them to guard as like a oh, guard squirrel, squirrel guard. Guard the meth if I give you the meth? No, no, no. For him to guard the property like a dog would, but, <laughs> but, but to encourage his ferocity, uh, ferocity, he gave, him, he gave, him gave meth. him meth. Did it kill the squirrel? No. The squirrel was released into the wild. No. <laughs> Squirrels cracked out. Oh, God. We're was that gonna... John? Wait, that might have been a John Stewart. And it, and might have been Alabama. And it currently is repopulating line. all the squirrels at Florida State and UCF because they fear nothing. I'm, I'm getting the headline. <laughs> Meth field attack squirrel. There is no... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no... There was no... What a time to be alive! Listen, listen, it gets better. <laughs> there was no safe way to test the squirrel for meth. <laughs> I found my new character. <laughs> See, that's funny. Squirrel, that's you know. <laughs> no, I just have really good deception, so yeah, no one knows I'm a, a squirrel. I have a question. If, if we have seven or eight squirrels stacked enough, if we feed see. the druid meth and she squirrel forms, <gasps> we can do meth squirrels. Do we? Do we? Sorry, have meth Cody. Squirrels? Don't do meth do. squirrels, kids. Yeah, don't do don't meth do. squirrels. In the words of SpongeBob. Boy. See, my father has pet squirrels, and this is very disturbing. He doesn't that have them. Disturbing. He just like. He care, he's a caretaker for his squirrels. Mm-hmm. There's one very large squirrel called Tubbs, and because she gets stuck in the uh, in the bird feeder often, and he has to go like, <laughs> rescue her. I love Tubbs. This is is cat sized. Uh, it is a small cat sized squirrel. That's amazing. Honey, speaking of Tubbs, so you guys make it. Um, you follow <laughs> the. You are able to. Miku's starting to get a good layout of the city. You guys are able to make it down to the um, Wild Gear biome. Um, You know that when last you were here, the Imperial location was with the Wild Gear sowers. Mm -hmm. Um, So you guys are down in that area. You begin to move uh, that way. Everybody roll me a D4. Oh, God. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's a three. Four. Two. Looking for hey, the lowest one. Hey, one, two, three, four. So, it's only an hour. You guys did well enough. Um, yeah. That it only took you an hour to travel from the Grease Monkey's Pit nice. down here. Yeah. Nick is just blood hunting. She's yeah. Just... <laughs> if it's I... the meth. It's the meth. It's the meth. This is not canon. What is it? It's the only way we help her deal with this whole situation that she hates. For the record, meth won't do that. But... <laughs> yeah, okay. don't, don't it's do fantasy that. meth. There was a study that fantasy meth... Fantasy meth wouldn't do that either. Yes. There was a study that meth um, counteracted uh, and was a actual, actual viable treatment for the flu. Hmm. Yeah, because it's just made of flu medicine. Basically. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, except there it has tremendous side effects, you Is know, like the sister? ones of yeah. meth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our dare stream. <laughs> Please don't use meth to cure Please any don't. kind of flu don't use or meth fantasy. For anything. No, just, just don't, don't no. try this at home. Paris, we're talking to you. <laughs> and the rest of you. But yes. mostly Paris. Yeah, he, he's just most likely. <laughs> okay guys here we go i'm sorry oh, we're sorry. we're having a night so, um wait, you guys have made it to the wild gear sowers yes. you are about about 10 minutes outside of it um and i would like all of you to make um dexterity saves please nat 20 again look at i'm not lying yeah I really need glasses. It's your dice. 11. Uh, 15. So that's a 23. Sorry. No, 24. Mm-hmm. 14. 14. Okay. DC of 13. So the only one that caught, is caught is Mion. Um, the rest of you guys catch the the metallic grass and the... Those of you that haven't been down here, it is a forest full of undergrowth and relatively tall trees, sort of oaks and things. But as you look closer, you can tell that 
um, the barks, that the blades of grass, that the flowers themselves, they are all, if not fully, um, at least partially contain um, metallic edges, that they are, they seem to grow and they are grown and shaped metal. Um, and some of the parts that they grow resemble necessary machinery pieces like springs, like cogs. It's, um, it is Willy Wonka Candyland, but instead uh, gears and bits. And it's steampunk Willy Wonka Candyland. Diesel Willy. Diesel uh, Willy. There are, you go. Are, these, are, are the blades like, are they sharp blades or are they just sort of... Uh... In most of the cases, the blades are not sharp. Okay, I was about um, to say, do I have to roll for damage for no, my no, no. ankles? What, what you guys do, do see is that there is a rapid growth of these things as you are approaching the wild gear sower. It is a... Um, you would kind of recognize the spell. It is, I can't remember the exact spell, probably vine growth or something. Plant growth? Plant, no, not plant growth, although it's a modified plant growth that's helping all of these things happen. Mm -hmm. um, it's one that would just be vines to restrain you, to restrain each of oh, you. Oh, grasping vine. Grasping vine, probably. Grass of nature, yeah. It doesn't pull, it's just to um, restrain. Um, Meon gets caught, um, and it's not even a full restrain, it's just grapple, like, hey, mm -hmm. Stop. Slow Don't walk there. Yeah. You're walking on the lawn. Um, and a couple of the wild gear sowers, uh, an order of druids, um, step out uh, from some of the nearby underbrush and um, do, do pull out. Careful there. Um, what do you all, what do you want? What can we do for you? Um, we were hoping to have an audience with... God, what was his fake name? Uh, uh, Monsieur, or uh, Senor de Montenegro. Yeah, because oh, he gave his last name. Uh, he, he actually never introduced himself. That's in, why I'm in character. <laughs> yeah. asking because I don't want to give him away. <laughs> but you know that he did give, he Racist. is impersonating a family member. Okay, so we know it's the same last name. Yes. Okay. Uh, we hope to seek an audience with um, Senor de Montenegro, please. Yes. Um, all right. Stay here. We we really don't want any trouble, especially not so near the camp. So um, we will bring them out to you. We understand you that can... this is a, a neutral court place. We appreciate place. that. Thank you. Even mm -hmm. um, if you are experimenting on animals. Um, yeah. You say that out loud? Nope. <laughs> not that they can hear. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's see if they can hear. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. As they start to turn, one of them stops. You, you think we're experimenting on animals? Oh, sorry. I am. Um, I had a bad. What sort of monsters what do you take this? us for? The, she had some oh, mess just, earlier. Um, yes. Really been messing with her sister. First of all, we are experimenting with plants. That is the wild gear druids across the way. And to be fair, even though they are wrong, they're not experimenting with or on animals. They're just making their own. Miku knows that she has to be nice, so she's just like, yes, of course, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. She's tired. So tired. <laughs> he, he, he just, he's gonna, he is used to um, make an insight check. Me? His name was okay. Nicolette. Ah. I like his Christine is here. Thank you. Nicolette de Montenegro. Uh, that's going to be a 22. A D2. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you get the feeling that he's used to justifying their... But from a different point of view. They're, they're used to the people that are pure machinists um, scoffing at them, experimenting and wanting to utilize nature in any form. Mm -hmm. And it's it, like he's slightly annoyed at having to do it from the other side, but he's used to it. Oh, Miku hates this place. They like they have animal like machine hybrids and the tr I tried to talk to a tree and it was just like one zero one one it was like a computer. She hates this place. So not the one to do most of the talking here because she wants to hulk out. Like 
I, I got the sense of that. Yeah. <laughs> this is not natural. Doesn't like it. I Cassandra rather... loves it. It's the coolest shit ever. Uh -huh. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> In character. Um, yeah. It's about 20 minutes. And um, the ambassador for the Imperials um, comes over. There are some guards with him. There are about four guards with him. Um, but he tells them to, to stand off to the side a little bit. What are they packing? <clears throat> um, they are heavily armored. Um, shields, spears, swords. Um, that sort of setup. And we are meeting in that hench. Uh, no, you guys did not go to the hench. You guys went straight to the to the druids. Okay. So, um, but they they're standing off about about sixty feet. Okay. Near the underbrush, you can tell that they are nervous, but. Not agitated. All right. Um, he makes his way over there and sort of waves and smiles at them. So, what, um, what is it that I can do for you? Wanted to say hello. Actually, I hadn't introduced myself uh, properly since arriving. Your graciousness. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss... Uh, Captain, actually. Uh, Captain Madeline Moret. But, uh, uh, so... De Montenegro. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. My mother's name was De Montenegro. Um, ah. So you, you're you familiar with our friends and what it is exactly we're looking for yes. in our business in this wonderful wheel of yours. My God, it's so round. It is, it is very round. We do not own the, the wheel of time. Uh, he, you can tell when he speaks low, um, you feel pretty confident that they they will have a hard time overhearing. Mm -hmm. um, and but he does. There are certain things that he does deliver at like full volume, so that if I they have plenty to talk back about. I would like to comment on the um, the garden with mm -hmm. with full gesture. In Thieves' Cant? And he replies uh, that, yes, he does understand right, Thieves' phenomenal. Cant. And that do the, a, do the, the, the four in the back go, he, huh? he, lo he looks back at them, and he kind of gives, um, <laughs> he gives to them a, a look that is like, these guys. Uh, um, <laughs> no, no, they don't understand. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. No, no it was wonderful. It was yeah. Great. Sorry. Sorry. To, the, to the rest of you, We're just you like, are... You are hearing a, a very pleasant but slightly odd conversation about the most innocuous of things. Mm. Um, it is in common, but it is the... Um, Sometimes the bees are large, but oftentimes I find that they wear shoes. Right. Mm. It's it, it, And sometimes it's not even that odd. It's um, There are certain common phrases that have very simple meanings, right? Like... Um, uh, like uh, a statement of the time, depending on what hour mm -hmm. it w is like an affirmative or a negative. Um, it, 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 it's just little descriptors like that. And you can, they are able to weave it into what is a fairly coherent, if unimportant conversation. Can I roll to see if Miku like, that's it. Sure, sure. That's not her. I wasn't trying suit, to keep so. them out. I just wanted to test no, no, sure no, the no, boys. No, no. Yes. I think that's yeah. hilarious. No. That's just that's just <laughs> the testing. Yeah. You guys can make insight checks. What the fuck are you rolling? Today, I right? know, right? <laughs> wow. You never roll that well. Twenty five, dude. Twenty two. Yeah. Checking all of them. Yes, we guys. all speak thieves can today. <laughs> yeah, but y'all, I feel like now when it gets really important. Oh no, I'm not saying we're excluding. I think this is so funny. The thought of us just being like, Who's here? Are we? I thought we were here to. What? I'm just, I just want to make sure, like, if if something went down and there was something we needed to say, mm -hmm. that there was a way to do it without. Oh, that's yeah. Brilliant. It does not. It does not need to be. The entire conversation doesn't need to be in thieves' camp. No, no, but no. It is. It is a me. useful tool to obfuscate. So can I like go kind of like over to you and kind of like 
whisper in your ear because I I feel like I she wouldn't be feel like she could talk out loud. She's like we're super secret covert, and to say, um, could you let him know that we have sided with Risa has sided with us, and we have given her the pages from his book or Caliber's book to make the art part, and we are slowly getting the city on our side. So I've come to tell you, uh, Senor de Montenegro, um, that I've decided to take a wife. Oh. Yes, wonderful girl. One of the matrons. Uh, name's Rhesus. Ah. Yes. Redhead or blue? <laughs> Doesn't Rest. matter what you're saying. No matter what you say is going to be what she's attempting to communicate. With. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. False. Shit. Shit. It's purple, purple. actually. It's purple. It's purple. Also pulling some of the similar thing. <laughs> so obvious. <I'm> <laughs> Also, segue between hiring uh, a fine robotic corporations and then segue into possible bugs in a given biomass um, for plate atrocity. Perfect. Right. So, what exactly did you know about the, you know, robots that eat things? Before getting to that. <laughs> Right to the point. Yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah. Step one. Step two. No. 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 Just the way she just asked that when you were like, "Be clever." But so, what about those things that eat people? <laughs> so, like on a scale of one to damn, how shady is this place? Tell me. Um, when you are talking to him about race, and you mentioned the the parts about um, about giving her the pages to make the the art part, mm-hmm. you watch him. His face goes through, and with Lundus, it's it's actually very subtle. Mm-hmm. But you watch him have like yeah. a few thoughts in a row. Is he having a face story? He's having a little bit of a face story. Take us okay. on a journey. Um, because well, he's at the at first when you're like, yeah, we gave her stuff out of the book. He's like, oh, I wouldn't. You gave her what? Well, yeah, specifically the uh, the sword. Mm-hmm. Was- and then he and she's right. Okay. That is, um, and he, he ends up replying with very much a, of course you did. No, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Of course you did. Can Maddie check? Yeah, make a, um, <laughs> make a. I have stats for Time travel check. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> make an intelligence check. I don't want to. Roll for wibbly wobbly, please. Okay. 17. Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll a DC on this one. 2d10 plus 5. Okay. Um, and I think the more information you gather, the more opportunities you will have. Uh, 18. Damn it! It's just outside. You you know that there's something important going on with in, him, with the sword, with all of that, but you're not quite sure what. In Thieves' Scan. Mm-hmm. The, she, she suggested that she take the, the plans for the sword to turn it into some sort of lightning rod for, um, Hadron's heart, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Right. Um... What's going on then? What's going on with what? With your face. Oh, it is a new face. Um, I I haven't been wearing it very long. It does funny things. Uh, Unnatural 20 for insight. 24. Fuck yeah. Uh Can't bullshit a bullshitter. Lundis can. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking about the reclamation bots. Since he's been here, there have been a number of upgrades done to them to remove the bug of them reclaiming um, non-expired organic material. But there seems to be, from what he can gather from the... Um, from the network monks and from uh, you've seen one of their ads where 
um, one of the new upgrades is that they can tell their thoughts from the rest of the machine's thoughts. It's like a processing power station. And they're sort of the people that can, um, they can, their brains are used to add to the computing power of all of these um, automated processes. So like the clicking and all that sort of stuff. The networking monks are? So mm -hmm. they're basically able to like, they're you, the ones who are in control? Of kind them? of, yeah. Um, I'll give you their exact monk designation in just a moment. Um, but from <laughs> what he can tell, there is something that is fighting um, some sort of ghost in the system or or something that they did not make that they can't figure out and can't account for that is making these programmable machines essentially behave in a um, inappropriate and aggressive way. This is Skynet? You sure I'm out. A, you sure it's not some I sort mean, of this is horizon. hacker or anything? He doesn't know. It, it very well could be. It could be a person um, that is part of the neural network. It could be um, it could be so many things, but he is not sure. Oh, what if it's core? Can I ask you something real mm -hmm. quick? It's been the processing hub. Processing hub. It's been confusing me a bit. Everyone that's involved with this wheel is referred to as a monk. Most of them, 90, 90 ish percent. I mean, 90 ish percent of them yeah. are referred to as monks, but they're not actually monastic orders, are they? There's races, lovely girl. Didn't seem quite monk like. They are, from what I can tell, that they are more uh, monks uh, in the form of like, uh, of like club, right? But there is an aspect of religiosity that is to their task and to their purpose. So that's more paladin to me. Yeah, per, yes, perhaps. I mean, but we are speaking in the cloistered sense rather than the um, rather than the uh, D&D class sense. I need Maddie to get smarter right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie doesn't have a lot of experience with either of them that does, does she? Yeah. Well, with a little, a little bit with caliber. Does she? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't remember. Yeah. Okay, so we got the networking oh, like monks. Him, I think she's, no. she's no. done something with her once. Yeah, you and Amon would probably be the. And and Ruby. And Ruby. And you? Did you meet Caliber? I. I can't remember. She it would have been at Arartico. Like and I've been there a few well, times, haven't I? Yeah, it would have been pretty early, though. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say no. Okay. If Just if I, I'm not sure, so I'm going to say no. If you look back at other, like the first, it would have been probably the first adventure in Erotico. Where else did Caliber go? She did go to Sanctuary for a time. And? Th mm, no. Because she met with, she, after you guys recovered Lundis, she met up with you mm -hmm. guys. I think I'm just going to say no, because I feel like she would have had a pretty extreme reaction to seeing her. Yeah. And I probably would have remembered that. I, so I'm just going to play it safe and say I do no. not remember Miku loving on Caliber. Yeah. So I think that would have been a, a whole thing. So I'm going to say no. Yeah. No, I got um, you. No, I remember Maddie liking her. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, as much as she likes anything with. A feminine form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a, and a big sword, ma'am. Ask him if he knows if he's heard anything about core or uh, anything changing in the city with core. So you know what she asked because mm -hmm. he can hear you, Miku. He's right there. She knows, but she she's she's not up with the whole like be discreet thing. So she thinks she's being really discreet. Sorry, by whispering sorry. to you. You're, you're doing great, Sweezy. Thank you. So cool. Um, down here we do not have a lot of uh, information 
on the current happenings of the up above. The uh, wild gear druids are uh, pretty isolated. Mm. So also, your, it's a safety problem. Your boys seem a little shaken. Are you all right? Yes, well, you are known criminals who are most likely here to kill all of us and steal away the only hope we have of returning to our natural timeline. So they are, how would you say, on edge. Bless you. Oh, thank you. She's blowing kisses to the guards in the back. <laughs> it's the first time anyone's treated me like a criminal, and I don't know how long. Hey, Maddie, uh, Maddie. Yeah? Excuse me. Yes. Can you ask him if Kor has tried to make a deal with any of his Imperial soldiers? Because I remember they were saying that they were trying to make deals with the Imperials. So maybe that happened. Excuse me, Senor de Montenegro. <laughs> Is it possible that Kor was making deals with the Imperial soldiers? Any deal done with the Imperials would have gone through me. And I have done a good job of positioning myself in that particular place. We have not had any additional deal. From what we understand, uh, Kor is eager to make a demonstration of the power of the wheel. Oh, so the tower? I do not suspect the tower. From what I understand, he has his own project. He is super, the super dragon. awesome. Don't we remember that? Oh, God. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know, right? <clears throat> didn't, didn't I talk about you can you can talk up a little bit. Oh yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> didn't we talk about how there was some kind of piece missing from the altar? Yeah. Was that caliber? Cal caliber. Was that just caliber? Okay. And what a I piece? Thought, am I right? I, nah, that, huh. I can't. I can't. I, I thought it was. It something would look different, suspicious, but I guess not. Probably but we do entire. know that he is working on Yulcrix, mm -hmm. the Grand Guardian, which is a dragon formed by the iron mind and it consumes whatever is added to it so it's a horror show right. it would be quite the demonstration yeah. so, so the uh, introduce a mecha dragon so so the metal dragon we're aware of this uh, is, there's a mecha dragon yes oh, oh that sounds really cool you yeah. think so but i have a feeling it's not ah Daddy, that isn't yes <laughs> tell him about the metal dragon damn my tiny bladder uh it's called eulocrix eulocrix yes it's um Grand Guardian of a, working on a special project. Great Mechanist Dragon, forged by the Iron Mine. What it consumes, it adds to it. You okay. know, standard grossness. That is very gross. Very gross. All right. There's a possibility Core might be working on that. Ah. It does not sound good. No. Hmm. Not at all. Perhaps you should stop him. Maybe. Well, shit, we didn't <laughs> think of that. Well, damn. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. This is why they pay you those <laughs> diplomatic bucks, isn't it? Oh, sir. I don't know. I mean, if 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 there were another uh, powerful uh, group of adventurers that I could turn to, I would perhaps suggest to them too. But I have uh, you guys. So. Maybe you could use your soldiers. Uh, tell him he could use his soldiers. Cool. Sorry. Because we have a question in chat and I can't answer it. Yeah, please. Uh, this is where it's from. What is a tenembri? A tenembri is a um it is a type of elf that is blind um, what's it from it um, yeah it's from the um amethyst uh deus ex machina uh their fifth edition product uh, product it is a fey race um we you wanted to play a character that was blind but like mm -hmm. daredevil blind yeah so they are so. all the whole race is blind from birth so all of them are blind and they do have blind sight mm -hmm. so i did want to so we have made it a um we have made it a like an elf sub race mm -hmm. um so culturally they are elves but they are born of a special um they're ominous and and Things like that. So. She asked the there. question and left. <laughs> well, it was for the chat. Oh, oh okay. I thought it was, it was for, for her. I was like, no. Okay. no, she knows, but she. No, um, yeah. 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 Amethyst yeah. fifth edition. That is a good question because I did mm. not know about it prior to someone suggesting it for me. Yeah, so. there's the okay. Amethyst books have some fun um, extra races and things. They're okay. very much for their own setting, but Tenenbri is one of the few that ports over very well. Do you guys have anything else you would like to discuss with 
limbus. So it sounds like he's rather isolated, so he doesn't have a lot of information from the surface. So. Yes. Um, she's not here. She's not here, but let's assume. <laughs> let's assume she's here. So I'm whispering this to her. Um, is there anything that perhaps you could send your soldiers to gather information on this Yule Creeks? Because this seems like he, he might make a grand entrance, perhaps when they're trying to make the offering to sort of show up um, whoever's uh, when you're offering caliber. Perhaps he may do it as a challenge to try to get the rest of the city on his side or to show his power. And that could really put a, um, a stick in this box. I will do my best. I will see what I can find uh, and what I am capable of doing. The soldiers are unlikely to uh, leave the caliber side as is our major escort, but I might be able to figure something out. Okay. Although, it might be a really good weapon if you're, if you're looking for help fighting uh, demons and devils. That is very true because uh, we do have how would you say many extra planar enemies for for mm-hmm. <laughs> remember you're on camera? <laughs> what are you doing? I dropped a crumb behind thinking of <laughs> Got it. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> His lady is nice. <laughs> hey. So um yes, the the Yolocrix could have great benefits. Yes. Do we need anything else? Because I, I think we should go talk to the um, the networking monks, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Because they're the ones with the recyclers. And if someone is hacking into them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us more about Yeah. Dragons really make me uncomfortable. Oh, for sure. I think. Hmm. Although, I feel like kind of waltzing up to core at this moment is Getting probably not a good idea. Uh, Senor, um, how is uh, the offering doing? Uh, she is doing well. She is in the final home stretches. It is, it is always difficult for someone to undergo dramatic physical changes in such a short period of time, but she is very strong. What exactly are they changing? Mm, bits, bobs, different... Uh, Pieces making different, uh, less porcelain, more fancy metals, um, oh. different things. Okay. She is, as always, a piece of art. And as always, I'm sure you watch over her quite well. Yes. Nothing that we can, nothing will be done to her that we, that the book is not prescribed. Good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Of course. Thank you. It is my pleasure. Please tell your men that they're quite brave to have come out with such rapscallions as us. <laughs> that is right, you sullen heretical dogs. We will see you crushed under boot before this, uh, I don't know when it is day and when it is night, but when the time has come, you will bow before the imperial might. <laughs> you will try, Imperial scum. So good to see you again. Okay. Okay. I want to hug you really bad, but I know I can't, so just pretend I did. I will pretend with the greatest mm. of pretendings. As you pretend to be a worthwhile human being, unacceptable entity from other plans. <laughs> so, she's going to also um, take a piece of bark and kind of pretend a trip and kind of drop two pieces. <laughs> At his feet, oh, right. and just uh, because I don't want to like freak out the soldiers. Sure. Just be like, one is for you. Please give another one to Caliber. Make a performance check. <laughs> oh no! This is where my dice are gonna fail. <laughs> you know it. Told you, it's a net one. Uh, so that's a that's a three. Roll roll two d six. <laughs> I was just trying to do something nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nine. You you go to pretend to trip, but you actually trip, <laughs> and okay, you that's and you eat you eat <laughs> bladed grass. Oh, hard. Oh. And then when you get up, you realize that you had forgotten to let go of the bark. So you still have the bark, so you can try again. I want to try may, again. May I? Yeah. 
what is this? This is how the Empire treats her children, lost and disgruntled though we may be. I thought we were all welcome in the bosom of Dorian. Take this, you charlatan ass. That's a 21. I'm going to throw the other one at him. Sure. We'll, perfor- we'll do, you can do a performance as well. That was a 21 on that one. Great. <laughs> but I also, I, I'm, I'm guessing she's bleeding. She wants to. I mean, t- <laughs> she's not bleeding. She like maybe like a like a little busted lip or something. Like a kid falling. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yes, uh, and he will he will adeptly catch the the bark. <laughs> Take you and your bootlickers back to the bosom of your man child emperor and tell him his day of reckoning is coming. It's coming. Ah! <laughs> the the druids are starting to come forward and be like, hey. No. Don't you hate me? My best friend is a monkey named Blanche, and if she were here, she'd have a word or two to say about these shenanigans. I will not stop for a snummer. I am leaving. <laughs> well, we're leaving first. Fine. Unpleasant to meet you by the name, by the way, my name is Beyond. You never asked, but I will tell you. Rude, 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 rude. <laughs> okay, I want her to have a little, like, but I want sure. her to smile at him and the, the guards just like, <laughs> waving Absolutely. at them with a bloody sled. Not lots of blood, just like a little bit. Just like probably leaning out of frame, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I have no blood in my mouth, so like, I'm not method, but just... <laughs> um, <laughs> but just like, trying to look intimidating, but she Absolutely. just <laughs> kind of doesn't. She looks like a, like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... She tried. All right. You guys are up and out of the wild beer biome. On yes. the walk out? Yes. I would like to... Tell them a story okay. about um, a metal worker that I knew that would make metal flowers mm-hmm. for 10 minutes. Okay. Because I always fucking forget to do this. So everyone gets 10, 14 temporary hit points. You remember it. You remember it a lot. Way more than anybody I've seen with that feat. I forgot it last time. Oh, yeah, like yeah. once. Every other time you always remember it. That's, we are proud of you and your. That's kind of, I always forget it when we need it. I feel like. You can't win them all. <laughs> I can't. Where are you guys off to? The network. Talk to the network monks. The network monks. In the processing hub. Okay. So that, how long did that take? An hour. Okay, so we're down to 29. Okay. Just make... um, Make survival checks. A natural 20. 17. 17. Four. Just needed to yell at it. There's always one. <laughs> it's okay. Um, roll me, everybody roll me a d4. Damn, I got three. Four. Four. Okay. Thank so you. we're going to, we're going to, okay. av- yeah, good. we're going to average it to two. Oh, okay. No? Okay. Wait. Mm-hmm. What you needed. So that's 29 yeah. hours? Yeah. Two hours. You don't necessarily know where the processing hub is or where the network monks work out of. It's not a place that you guys have been before. So you actually have to take the time to find directions, find somebody that can give you good directions, and then follow them. Which, um, you know, depending on um, who's there and who who is actually talking to you, the quality of them. But you guys are able to, to locate it um, with... Relative amounts of ease. As you guys are making your way up, this building is is wired like a 1940s switchboard relay station. It it has um, tons of cables as well as runes that sort of carve through through the road and connect these energy lines that run up the building and um, and through its entirety. It is a very square um, cube of a building. It's clearly designed for some form of geometrical purpose or, or something. And occasionally, as the wheel turns, um, the different floors, three floors, will kind of Rubik's Cube shift. Oof. Okay, Cassandra, 
That's freaking awesome. Cool. Miku. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I got wow. you. Good. <laughs> um, you guys are outside of that. You're about 30 feet away. Um, there is no fence or guard or anything that seems to protect it. Um, Can I check for traps? Mm-hmm. Is that investigation? Yeah. 14. Doesn't seem trapped. Okay. The, the path, there, is a, there is a singular pathway up to the doors, sort of um, double doors on one of the one of the cubes. Um, it's just all right. Okay. There we go. As you guys uh, head up there and you make your way in through the doors, there is a uh, sort of chime that happens when you open the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Maybe. <laughs> All of those. All maybe at the same time. Timing, maybe it's a 7 Eleven. We don't know. It's both. Old time 7 Eleven. <laughs> you guys see sitting behind the desk a, um, a pretty woman. She has, um, she does have some of the like self-forged pieces, but instead of being like heavy brass or bronze filled with cogs that you've seen the reactor monks have, and, and like even Race's armor was very much looked like heavy armor, right? Um, this is far thinner materials, looks um, a more, more like, um, Tins or palladiums or platinums, and and is well, far more stylish. You know, sort of uh, a twisted liquid metal um, that has a lot of interesting, very fine sort of cables and connection points. So um, we're thinking like a beta. Sure. Who? Um, um, the movie about the robot girl. Am I getting her name? Akira? Right? Not Akira. Yeah. It's a new one. Battle Angel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Metal yeah. Angel Akira. Um, okay. Or, I'm thinking the girls um, from Tron. Isn't it Alita? It's a little more Tron. Alita. There it is. Yeah. Alita. Alita. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm thinking... <laughs> Whoops. I'm thinking girls from Tron. Tron is a, is a decent one. Alita is a decent one. I, I would um, mix that with like a 50s aesthetic. A 50s version oh, of, of oh. the future. Oh. Right? Nice. So... Okay. See, now know, it's, but, it's the pink girl... It's with the collector, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. These these are all these are all Visuals. great references. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. <laughs> um. So, but she does have you, the one thing is that. Um. So her hands are free. Her the V neck on her and like her head and then like just above her knee, like you can kind of see her legs. But all of her clothes that are these metal pieces have like little wires that connect different things. And you can see that from the back, many of them kind of go up into her hair. Mm. Um, hmm. And when she comes in, she when she sees you guys, she stands up. She is behind a very um, square, like receptionist desk. Mm-hmm. Um, and she stands up. Hello. I'm so glad to see you all. I'm hoping that you're here to volunteer for um, the time inside the processing hub. Charmed, I'm sure. Uh, yes. Charmed. What exactly does that um, entail? The uh, specifics were a little vague. Well, everyone inside the processing hub experiences the process differently. <laughs> See what I did there. However, um, it is very much like having a visceral day drink. Um, we were hoping perhaps to um, meet and speak to whoever um, created all of this. He's in charge. That sounds fun. The best way to do that is to join the processing hub. Uh, And that way you can do better than speak to them. You can think to them. um, Sure. Um, And um, how long does that take? Well, most shifts inside the processing hub are six to eight hours. However, we do like to limit them for new brains. They tend to burn out faster. Of course. Um, uh, could you 
when 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 can bring us uh, some side effects for the, 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 the processing mm -hmm. nothing worse than what you're already experiencing with your stutter so oh okay <laughs> you're um, direct i like that in a woman mm -hmm. uh sweetheart do you have a name i do would you care to share it i would annabelle annabelle phenomenal okay so she's flesh except for the dress yeah but she's kind of plugged into the dress yes okay yes um right sweetheart i'm so sorry to do this just could we speak to your boss i've had a day at work let me do this <laughs> did you just can i speak to your manager no i sweetheart you need to smile and can i speak to a man please <laughs> of course I'm sorry that I haven't used terms that you find acceptable. I'll get one for you. <laughs> she. I know that face. She is that bitch. I do that face. <laughs> 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 Internal screaming. <laughs> she stands up. She's wearing heels and teeters on. Thank you for your help. God damn. That was it. That's the one that got away. <laughs> Did your hair also change into like super blonde highlights and a, like a pixie cut when you said that? <laughs> is your name no. Karen now? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it did make me grow my beard, though. <laughs> she comes back about 15 minutes later. And when she comes back, she is... Um, she comes back through the door. It's just sort of like a push door uh, that swings both ways. It's behind her desk. Um, but she comes back... <laughs> Uh, teetering backwards in the heels um, and like the door get gets like pushed open by her butt and she's like dragging something with her. It seems kind of heavy. Do you need some help? No, I have it. Thank you. I'm so glad I could get this for you. <laughs> I love her. And she, she comes, <laughs> she's like dragging back this large cube. Mm -hmm. Um, and she turns it to the side, and then very much like the broadcast of greater image um, that, that continue to pop up, there is a, um, there's a thing that pops up. It is, I don't remember the term, it's one of those collage photos where a whole bunch of tiny pictures makes a bigger picture. Oh. It's that in 3D. I would like you guys to make perception checks, please. Mm. Sixteen? Twenty-two. Nine. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen, twenty-two. Um, you guys can tell there there is a face that is to it. It is in 3D. You could walk around it. Think um, like any sort of big giant head, mm -hmm. right? Except instead of it, it being, they're like cube pixels, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And each cube pixel, uh, and actually you you wouldn't be able to pick up on this at all anyway. Um, Fine. <laughs> each cube pixel is, uh, which you guys can tell, looks like somebody that has volunteered to participate at the processing hub. Okay. So it is a piece of each of their consciousness that forms this collective. boss collective entity. And as she, as it gets set up, she um, sort of goes over to her desk. So, and then she goes, collective, these people would like to speak with you. And, and you, it takes a moment for the thoughts and words of all of them to sync up. But as it does, it coalesces and its definition becomes less um, pixel cube and more smooth, like modern digital graphic face. Okay. Nikki swipes at it like a cat. It's scattered. Very much like yeah, it's scattered. Whenever you touch it, the pixels individually sort of scatter and then reform back, uh, back in. <laughs> And then once it sort of comes together, <laughs> what can we do for you? Um, are, are you in charge? Are you the one who is uh, the head of this monk's order? We are all heads here. We, okay. Um, is, uh, 
Travis got that. Um, is there a place perhaps that is a bit more uh, private that we could talk? The only way to talk with us is to talk with all of us. All of you. Okay. Um, uh, we were sent from. Do you know who Risa is? We are aware of the ma- matron of discovery of innovation. We know Risa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you friends? We have not. Um, very few of us experience social outings with Risa. So, as individuals, we may perhaps be friends. But as a collective, we recognize Risa as a valued member of this society. So, she's single? We do not have that information, although one of us seems to think, no, don't you dare touch her. One of you. I am not the one. No, you're not plugged in. It's okay. I just hear a voice. We will I don't understand what's happening. But yeah. We're talking we, to a giant head. It's fine. Um, okay. Okay. We will ignore Dave for now. Well, uh, we heard, um, we'd like to know about the recycling program, your recyclers, your reclaimers. Uh, we heard that there is something making them acting slightly different. We are wondering if there was a way we could perhaps help you out. The, you see the head sort of split, um, right. kind of like a TV that, uh, or, or like a double exposed picture, right? Where it's trying to, to do two things at once. And um, you can tell that the collective is essentially divided on this issue. Mm. Um, but what you none of them deny that there's a problem. The division seems to be on whether or not you can help. <laughs> um, and then they sort of come back together and and they they get their act together and then they start to talk again. Um, we're unsure what is causing the um, reclamation bots malfunctions. They've been through a number of upgrades, each of which should have, and in many cases, has diminished the number of organic reclamations. However, there seems to be some sort of underlying persistent issue with them. Um, Perhaps all you need is a fresh set of eyes. You know, it sounds like you all from the wheel here, you've been going at it for a while. We're new. We're fresh, as it were. We would be happy to allow you uh, access. Would you like access to the programming hub? Yes. Great. Annabeth, get them suited for... No, no, no. Yes. I I will volunteer to keep a watch over you while you are in this so I could keep everyone company. Annabeth, take my meat body. (laughs) Yes, you could take hers. That's fine. (laughs) Let me get my shadow run sheets out. Hold on. <laughs> I do have a. Um, the the experiences that are part of this. Um, when you say visceral, as you can probably see, I am blind. So I wonder, does it act through all of the present senses to create the sort of experience that is the hive mind that you all have? We've never had a blind individual as part of the collective before. Well, well shit, sure. it's time to find out. How be the... branching out. We are excited for the new opportunity. A part of the collective. This is not a permanent uh, joining, correct? That is correct. We find that after a certain amount of time, the human brain uh, essentially experiences what is commonly known as fatigue which would diminish the processing power of the hub as a whole. So we tend to work as volunteer shifts. Got it. And once you have joined, you're not expected to continue joining? We find that most people enjoy the experience and are willing to come back. However, those that are not are allowed to leave. Good. I think just for everyone's peace of mind, in case you get fatigued, I will be here to give you a bit of vitality. Yes? Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Is there any way, I know that Annabelle kindly mentioned that there are a usual amount of time where you are connected to the network. Um, Because we are more or less doing this for the first time and sort of are preliminarily looking into this issue that may or may not be present, um, because we have those different goals, would it be possible to shorten the amount of time that we are present in the network 
we do have a couple other projects that we are working on currently. So we do My need to get God, to God, you spent too much time down here and you read like stereo instructions. Make a persuasion check. That's cocked. Yay! Not 20 <laughs> plus 7. Rat! 27. <laughs> I am speaking <laughs> Annabelle's language. I need to speak in a measured, calm tone that is totally, totally assured of myself. <laughs> I definitely know what I'm talking about. If you are able to complete your task in a more timely manner, we will certainly allow you to vacate the hub um, whenever you are satisfied and done. However, in our experience, uh, it takes at a minimum an hour of acclimation. And then for first timers, we usually allow them to access the processing hub for about an hour. So, so two hours total? Two hours at most. So if you are able to complete the task shorter than after that first hour, Although, if you are extremely intelligent, you may be able to acclimate yourself in a faster, um, faster than an hour. So two hours. Got it. So perhaps if one of us went in, we might be able to give them a bit of an advantage. Or does everyone want to go in? Before we go into this, um, do you have any like, contact information of people who have left the program that we may like, you know, possibly call to make sure... Not to distrust you. Annabeth will. Of course. Let me get the physical records. You know, we really should buy her a drink when this is all over. Sure. How's the weather in there? They all answer something different. Oh, it sounds lovely. Ah. That was my mother's name. So where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> She's trying. Ah. Cool. I, I know it's lovely there. How's your day going? We're having a good day. Thank you. Phenomenal. So what about this Annabeth chick? Is she seeing anyone? Annabelle. Whatever. <laughs> I got half of it right, and he messes it up every time. I just don't think she really identifies through her name. You know, it's more like a feeling than a concrete idea. It's going to be a while for <laughs> Annabelle to uh. get the physical records. We need to stop wasting time. I apologize. No, 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 no. That's not. I just want to make sure that, like, they didn't just lie to us. How long does it take her to come back? Oh, like 30, 40 minutes. It finishes that hour. Okay. And she's okay. she's bringing them in, like, wheeled carts that are just boxes and boxes <laughs> of paper. And they're all, like, type 8 print just mm. lists of names <laughs> okay so Annabelle um where does one get hooked in let me show you oh thank you dear uh what what this would be intelligence right mm -hmm. what's everyone's intelligence monovirus minus one minus one zero mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on you. Thanks. And <laughs> I'm going to cast, uh, I think it's Owl's... Is it Owl's? That's Wisdom, I feel like. Yeah, that's not. It's, a, it's, a, it's not. Fox is Fox, Fox is Cunning. Yeah. Just to make sure that that is exactly. Yeah, Fox is Cunning on you. So you will have uh, advantage on intelligent checks. Thank you. Okay. I can only cast it on one person. So. Are you going in? <laughs> Sorry, I found a snack in my bag. Dive, dive. Well, is anybody staying out already? I think Miku wants to stay Miku's out. Staying. Oh, I'm not going in. Okay. <laughs> Nothing could get her in that thing. I'm fine. Cat in a tub. I'm yep. Going. Nope. <laughs> 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 I'm frozen. Okay. Sit down for it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh. That'll be good. Oh, that's good. So. You guys are put into similar wire kind of suits and costumes. There are, uh, would all of you roll me, um, actually, I'm going to roll it. You all take uh, 15 points of piercing damage as you have oh, tiny have needles um, and neuro neurodes stuck in your brain. That was 15? Yeah. Yeah, you don't, because you're not. No, no, I know. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. One creature. But it's a lot of. One creature. Wait, it, don't, don't do it now. And I'm just seeing if I have a, what, which mass ones I have. <laughs> um, we're all getting hurt at once. So, 
you guys are set and ready to dive into the processing hub. You so the processing hub will be attempting to assist you because one, they know that you are new, and you've actually told them what you're here to do, and so that's good. Yay! Because if you hadn't, if you tried to be like sneaky about it, they would have been like, "What are you doing? Stop that!" Um, so good times there. You all are put in your own individual sort of Hollywood squares. Um, you lose the sensation um, in the rest of your uh, limbs. But what you, what you sort of see and feel is a greater magical image uh, around you. And each of your brains processes the information differently. I would say you are probably getting some visual sensations, um, but they are different, uh, Mion, than, well, than the Nexus energy that you had seen, quote unquote, previously. Um, but it is a, in different bits, you're able to interpret it not only as sounds and tactiles, but you're also able to get the idea, right, of, of what something might look like. And so in that respect, it is probably very difficult for you to describe, but it is something you can do. You guys um, make me, um, so what are you attempting to find? What is your like hypothesis? What are you looking for as you're diving through these, the processing hub records and, and things like that? And I mean, you have essentially access to the entirety of the city through the processing. Does it come up as code or how do, what does it look like? Well, think of it as whatever your character would think of a, um, a few things. One, there would be like an organized information area. So if that's a library to you, if it's um, a cargo hold or a swamp hut, whatever your, however your character would organize information in your individual areas, that is what the, um, let's say like the catalog of history okay. is. There is also a visual, physical, auditory, a fully tactile representation of the city and what it is doing. Um, so for some of you, it might appear as a ship and you can see the different portions of it would have metaphorical correlation. Sure. Right. So the sails are the things that are powering and you can see each of them and how full they are and how active they are. Or it may be something more like a toy model of the entire city mm -hmm. that you can sort of look at and peel apart and, and pull pieces together sort of. Game of Thrones opening clockwork <laughs> style. Um, so it, it depends on what you tell me. What does your internal reality, what does that look like, sound like, feel like for each of you? Natalie? It's going to be a ship. Um, she wants, she'll look through probably a little bit of cargo, but mostly captain's log mm -hmm. for um, forgeries and evidence that someone else has manipulated it mm -hmm. to see if some like if, if there's been someone overriding whatever. Sure, sure. Um, we'll get to the checks and the results in just a moment. What is Mion's like? Um, well, to start with, I imagine the sort of like information center to be a bunch of low shelves. All of the books have spines which are labeled in Tenenbra of exactly what they are. Um, there are also sort of like panels in Tenenbra along each of the shelves, which aren't your canon super high shelves. They're all, they only come up about to like chest height. So they're rather short and they're almost lined up like pews. Mm -hmm. um, and so it'd be very easy to just like find things by both like subject and alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, the city is laid out. There's also a sort of like model, but it is a model that you can actually um, walk into the center of. Mm -hmm. And it's not very big. Um, everything would be an arm's length, but it's almost like a donut sphere with a little portion cut out. So you can walk into the center, which is hollow. Um, and then you can proceed to like 
reach in and touch all of like the pieces that are present and mm -hmm. kind of like feel the machinations that are happening with all of the parts of the city. Yeah, absolutely. Ro? Uh, it is a swamp and uh, it is actually the thing that she's talking, that she's getting the information from is uh, sort of an incarnation of her of her sister and and who she hasn't seen in a while and it's it's she talks to her and sees and, and she she's able to communicate in a way but not like verbally but she's able to get the information mm -hmm. from from like the vessel of information that mm -hmm. is embodied in her sister very cool that is those are all very awesome um so i know what madeline is looking for mm -hmm. Um, what is, what are you two looking for? Part of me is going about this very, um, very much along the lines of buzzwords, for lack of a better word. Sure. Um, like when you go into Google, you have the certain things that are like buzzwords that you type in. So I am looking for people who have, I'm, Wondering if I can categorize the days or times in which machines malfunctioned. And once I found those logs, finding a way to see if there are any individuals who have been present or sort of involved in mm -hmm. the working of those machines on those specific times that these malfunctions were processed, because I am looking to see if it was an individual who's already in the network, who's mm -hmm. connected to the network. Like mm -hmm. I'm looking for, a, seeing if it's a person. Um, okay. A row is trying to find out how actually it all sort of works together and what, uh, if there's if there's some sort of like master plan or, or almost like, like manual of how everything is interconnected mm -hmm. and maybe how the people who are connected into the org or whatever it is are, are, are connected to the rest of it as well. Okay. I would like all of you to roll me investigation checks. I believe you have advantage with your uh, on intelligence. Yeah, intelligence, investigation. Oh. Investigation's intelligence. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So, yes. This is why I need it. <laughs> um, okay. Um, and you can go ahead and add a D4. I'm going to say that you're all receiving guidance um, by having a information system that you are familiar with um, as you are working through these this investigation. Um, let's start over here. Six. Okay. It was a net one. Mm. Twelve. Okay. Uh, I'm adding these two numbers together. Yep. That's okay. Uh, plus investigation on your still eight. Still eight. Okay. Go team. <laughs> still eight. You plus should, zero. You should have two more skills you're proficient in. I can see from here. Intimidation and arcana. You should have two more from your background. We'll we'll fix okay. that in a bit. No problem. It's definitely not investigation. But yeah, I'm I'm guessing it's <laughs> not investigation. Not okay. Um. The best thing that you can figure out as far as how it all, how they know what to do. Um, so the processing hub helps run the automated systems, right? Things like the trains moving, um, those flying lightning bugs, those sorts of things that have, um, that have to react to intentional immediate events. However, um, People tend to run the the reclaimers, uh, not the not the recyclers. Um, I'm saying the the digging things that are excavating uh, excavators, uh -huh. not reclaimers. Excavators, those tend to be run by people. Um, but as far as how they know what to do, it is the best metaphor you can come up with. It is sort of like doing a puzzle they know to do something simply because it fits. Hmm. Um, so that's about what, what our Swamp Witch gets. Are we a hermit? Is that your background? 
you get religion and survival. You are proficient Excuse in religion. Excuse me, religion and medicine. Religion and medicine. So bubble those in, and you can add your proficiency bonus to whatever that little number is next to it. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, you had a 12? Yes. And you were looking for people that might have coincided with the rewrites. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't find anybody that coincides. Um, you can tell that there was there have been there have been five rewrites. Nobody, no one in one person has been on more than two of them, and none of them have been necessarily back to back. You also see that after the on the first attempt of rewrites, it seems that when there are great tragedies for the recyclers, there is an advertising blitz for people to join the processing hub to attempt to prevent this. And so it's usually friends or family or people that are committed to seeing these things work. And so there is, um, yeah, nobody does more than two and nobody did them back to back. What I will let you know is that in the junkyard um, where most of the recyclers work and operate, Beneath it, there is a negative spot, very large, somewhat alien, somewhat mechanical looking, almost like an ant hive. Um, You ever seen when somebody pours like tin or aluminum or something into an ant hill? Oh, oh, yeah, it makes that beautiful art. Yeah. It's really And pretty. kills all the ants. So bonus. Kills, they, yeah. they usually do it when the ants aren't in it. Oh, like, that's... they evacuate it. The, they get them all out of there, and then they pour it through because it makes these beautiful sculptures. Yeah, but I, was, I thought there were... But do you like killing ants? Yeah, I'm they're on, garbage. They're, they're, the Argentine ant is... We, we will read that someday. It is terrible. They swim now. Yeah. Anyway, anyway but, No, we'll, we'll get to it. But... Um, I like ants. I, you're fine. <laughs> no one's mad at you for liking <laughs> ants. Okay. There's just a hilarious uh, cracked article about how uh, this one particular invasive species of ants is, is awful. Everything. Yeah, um, but it's it's quite hilarious. Okay. So, um, <laughs> okay. Oh no, I I, I want to look at it. It's yeah. funny. I didn't well, translate, but <laughs> you're good. <laughs> ant hill. Ant hill. So, ant hill. You. It's. It's black. There should be something there. And there's enough connection points to the rest of the city that it is odd that the processing hub does not have access to it. Because you can pick apart that model and find anything and everything else. Uh. And the, the, it seems to be most prominent near the junkyard. Ooh. How could be his center of operation? How he's literally hiding like a dragon in the city. I don't think he has the dragon yet. But it, if he's making, then he would I, need a it, space to I don't think it's making, him. I think it's summoning. I think it, uh, it already, it's already because it's pre-existing. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the purpose of the offering is to summon it, open or something. Okay. Because yeah, I didn't really understand how it was a pre-existing sort of like dragon, legendary mecha dragon, and how that was going to be present with him. But time okay. travel. That makes more sense. Um, either way, I don't like that dark space. Um, and there's no, I mean my role was okay. So there's like no indication of um, anybody who's like over that area or like important to that area. Like con- any kind of contact, just like... Just um, like my- a lot, not a lot of, uh, very few, there are no monastic orders that work there. Right. People that work in the junkyards have washed out of, of monastery school. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so okay preschool priest school 
you guys. Um, everybody roll me a d4. That's in the hub. So I'm Miku sitting out in the lobby with her bodies, just like fantasy version of Girl from Ipanema's playing. And she's just... <laughs> just looking over at Annabelle like... One. One. Three. Three. Okay. I will give you guys... It is two hours that you are in the hub. Maddie, you get caught in the porn section of the processing hub. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have really good intentions, but I haven't seen this stuff. No, no, yeah, it's it's everybody's weird fantasies and kinks, and you're There's like a lot of machinery. Well, well that's a season wrap on Maddie. <laughs> well, it is. She's lost in the matrix. My mind is just it's Beetlejuice going to the the cat house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, you guys pop out two hours later. Um, I would like you all to make constitution saving throws, please. DC 14. That's a four. Twelve. Okay. Y'all. <laughs> so bad right now. Like, wow. You guys all experience... Um, it is mentally exhausting. Mm-hmm. Um, the monks of the processing hub were the people were not lying. It is um, you suffer one level of exhaustion, so you have disadvantage on ability checks. And our handy dandy bookmarks are helpful for that. Not saving throws it doesn't do anything for combat, but for your skills is um, is difficult. Okay. Um, when they come out, I would like to cast healing spirit okay. around them um at did they lose a hit points or no. did they just have exhaustion they ju- well they lost their points but it so was we, lost one, we lost one hit point so their hit point maximum is fine mm-hmm. it's the exhaustion that is well hearing school well, hearing spirit have anything to help with that because it, it's it just conditions um no it's just it's just um Restoration might be. I can only cure that. I can only use that on one, though. Okay. Healing okay. Spirit's the only one that's not like a super high level spell that will. It's okay. Yeah. We'll just take it. And so you you absolutely can. Um, I'm going to use a portion. Um, well, I'm going to use Lay on Hands and restore my 15 points. Hit points. One, one point. You lost one point, huh? I thought we lost 15. I points gave you 14. Temporary points, so you lost. I forgot. One point. Thank you so much. I did not realize there that was go. what you were mentioning. No, I just can't do math. I reject your 15 and I say one. Okay. Mary Land says nay. A single. Yeah. Well, I might as well cure one person with exhaustion. I'm, I'm looking. It might have to be greater restoration. It so, is because minor or lesser can only do blind, paralyzed, poisoned. Yeah, and that and greater. Oh yeah, greater restoration. That's fifth level. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do that. No, that's fine. <laughs> I do not want to burn a fifth level spell slot. Don't do it. But if you have to, don't she gives do you it. a crisp thumbs up. <laughs> I get an inspiration back for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really inspirational. Crisp <laughs> we'll thumbs up. Just <laughs> so. You've gathered this information from the processing hub. What would you like to do? Assuming that we share it all? Yes. No. You two well, you, we divulge what we mentioned. You guys say what you found first, and, and we get to Maddie, and she's like, same. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, all uh, of that. Absolutely. The things you said. Do you think we should perhaps try to talk with this uh, collective mind? Perhaps to see what their feelings are on sort of if they would be on our side. Is the box still in? Sure. Okay. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Yes? Um, if we took care of this little problem for you, how would you feel about it? We would appreciate it greatly. Rock on. Anything else? Um, 
curious how you would uh, just hypothetically if there was a um order of the monks that were trying to use the um the wheel as a personal gain for um connections outside of the city um how would that make you all feel how would um, you react there is i will let you know so the processing hub is made up of volunteers mm -hmm. they are it is about uh, it's a good demographic, just sort of like subsection of the city. This is purely hypothetical. Purely hypothetical. Um, most of them, very much the way you you had gathered information previously, most of them are what for the wheel's true purpose, right? Um, and no, none of them, very few of them seem to think that the wheel exists specifically to enrich a single individual um they now they they're they sort of argue and debate with each other whether the wheel should make a giant mecha dragon and some of them are super on board with it they know about the dragon well the, um yeah that's been the advertisement is that oh they've been aver i thought oh, it was something we found out through. well you told you tell me I thought you guys said at like Risa is doing the publicity blitz, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I didn't know she. I thought we had found that out, and Later. people didn't know about it. I thought yeah, that was like that a secret a, thing a, he was working. on. I didn't know it was everyone knew about it. No, well they did. Risa's tell them that. Well, that's what I'm trying to decide. Oh, Risa oh, okay. might be telling them unless you do not want her to. I thought it was she is on your team. I thought we would have told her that she would make it seem as though Korra was just like selling out the city, not specifically building an amazing mecha dragon or something yeah. a mecha dragon, but being like, he is selling out the city for or his like, own personal gain. Yeah, for okay. personal gain. Then, so more of a slandering campaign and less about his ability to summon yeah, a great, don't, don't possibly mention, magnificent dragon. Don't mention the dragon. mecha dragon. We can't fight that. That's that's uh, um, that's amazing. But also okay. for like a, a mecha city, I feel like they'd be like, hell yeah, yeah, yeah dragon. They'd be about it. They would okay. probably like, worship it. I'm not gonna it, lie. So Maddie's like it. maybe fifteen percent on board. Like, yeah. oh, that's a bad idea. I kind of want to see how this plays out, though. So I got you. yeah, so, okay. that's why <laughs> so, I was like, wait, shit, what? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's that's not a problem. Especially because then. Preferably if the inhabitants don't know and the dragon shows up, It'll they can react poorly surprise. to it because yeah. they did not know about it, which be to our benefit because the dragon will likely be on Core's side at the moment. Yeah, we want to get Maybe. people, if if they're in the mentality yeah. of being against Core, if he does something like that, if they're already thinking that he doesn't he's have good intentions. The city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Six, nine on the Agon <laughs> <laughs> You got it. So. so that's what I was asking. Like, if they had had wind, like what we're kind of trying to do, that if someone was going to use the wheel and its design, take advantage of their own benefit. Like, um, in general, people are pro great design, pro wheel, not pro individual. Okay. Is. So, as a collective. Let's say someone wanted to use certain aspects of the network to control things for their own personal gain. Are there measures in place to ensure that the good of all citizens is ensured and that no one individual of this network at the moment can take control of certain services or are there distinct responsibilities? For I will let you know when you were in there, you, you could feel the consciousness of everyone else. So it is very much um, a person doing just something by themselves would be extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. It would take the consensus or everybody being at least partially on board. So hypothetically, if there was something that threatened the city, they would be the ones who do not control Hadron's watch, but control the network on which those lightning bugs are on. Um, they have some control over the lightning bugs, but not total control. Mm -hmm. um, they more run like trains and lights and night cycle. Basic yeah, they, operations. Yeah, um, those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, collective, I'm just curious, what 
do you think the wheel is for? Is maybe everyone wants or it might be equal? <laughs> they all got something different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, has anyone ever considered that perhaps it might be, I don't know, some way to travel through time? <laughs> um, roll me a percentile. I was actually going to make some kind of maybe persuasion check. I think. What's a zero, zero, zero? That's a hundred. hundred. That could be really bad, though. So, like, <laughs> they're all know. against it. <laughs> yes. I, I will say, <laughs> there, all, everybody dies. <laughs> there is one dude um, that his name is Vizette. Important. Uh, okay. And and the rest like the rest of the entity is very much like but no that's silly time travel doesn't exist but you see the one little like cell like popping out of place <laughs> and pushing the rest of the face around mm -hmm. and it's very much going like i told you it's a time machine i remember and he starts yelling at them, and they're like does that stop and he's like no she's found me you, you know it's a time Hello. machine. Well, what if we could provide proof that this might be used um, for time travel? Um, make an, you guys can all make inside checks. Mm -hmm. Save this. 18. Okay. 17. 15. 18. The collective sort of erupts and Oops. up to a point where you can s sort of feel gears grinding mm. and like parts of the city are not being managed or focused. So automatically things start. It's like having sand in a watch. Oh God, Nico broke the city. Um, um, <laughs> what, what you can tell is that Im immediately the idea of traveling through time gives basically every person in there, they all have something that they would want to change. travel and change. Um, and and it's all, it all becomes very personal. Mm -hmm. um, and the hub starts to break down. And, and so they, it, after, after about 12, 18 seconds, they kind of re-piece together. I kind of want to bring it back. Um, so we all have our different opinions about what the wheel represents, because we all came here to feel safe in the presence of the wheel and just understand that the wheel supports all of us, and in turn, we support the wheel. That being said, I need a second. To think about what I'm going to say. Okay. Um, what's Annabelle doing? Watching. Just serving. Can I check to see how deep her smile goes? To see if she's actually smiling. How, how fake like it is. Emotional. Oh, smiles. sure. Yeah. What does that end say? Uh, yeah, sure. Twenty-one. Okay. Annabelle is um. A customer service rep, not robot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's not like brainwashed or... Okay. Yeah, she's... Yeah. She's a little mechanical just because of all the things that are going on there. But, um, yeah. Cool. So, just going back. Mm -hmm. um, so, regardless of how deeply each of us is connected to the wheel... Um, obviously, we all share the same sentiment that the wheel is a city of opportunity for people of all types to come together and function and live. And we support the life that is here in the city. And regardless of what its true purpose is, I believe that we all share those values and we'll protect them with our lives. Okay. Please see him on board. 
was rather general, but I just mm-hmm. kind of wanted to be mm-hmm. like, yes, the people who told you it might have been time travel are like right. inspiring. So, so thank you so much, Annabelle. Thank you for wheeling him out. I believe we know where we need to go now and we will mm-hmm. take care of that. Is there currency in this place? No. What do they purchase things with? Usually parts. Okay. Um, do I have any? Raw metal pieces. You could give them currency. Okay. I'm going to give her some um, some ammunition. Oh. oh that's, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, here. Um, when your shift's over, go to the grease monkey or whatever the hell it's called. And have a drink. Thank you. It's been a day, and we have not been the easiest customers. So please, on us. Yeah, she softens a little bit. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you. And if you feel like company, I have fun stories. Good to know. About places that are not like this at all. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Finger guns out. (laughs) So, what would you guys like to do? Uh, Do you know where we need to go for the reclaiming, for the junkyard? Yeah. Um, how far when? So did I get a good understanding of where the sort of, I'm just going to call it the blackout zone. Sure. Where the blackout zone starts yeah. um, in proximity to, I know you mentioned it's underneath the junkyard, but I assume extends slightly beyond the junkyard or is it yeah. only isolated to that area? No, no, no. It, it extends beyond. It okay. sort of, it's very, it's a very wide ant hill, not a very deep ant hill. Okay. Um, I would like to have, I obviously should have said this in, at the moment, but um, had tried to pay attention when I was looking at the model of the city to understand, and obviously it moves. How best to get there? Yeah, is the model of the city concurrent with the lineup of all of the everything, including um, its movement? So unless, is it up yeah. to date? It is up to date. Real unless, alignment? Yeah, it's up to date Perfect. unless you intentionally move it to look at something else. Okay. Um, in that case, I want to have noted exactly where the closest point of the blackout zone was to us mm-hmm. um, and maybe looked a little bit into seeing whether or not we need to go underground from another room. If there are any perceivable entrances or exits to said blackout zone. Um, yeah, so there, it, it seems to all kind of touch small... Hmm small junkyard areas or parts of the city that are not utilized a lot. Um, But you are able to navigate your way there um, without a check within, I would say, another hour. How long did the post conversation take? 15, 20 minutes. Okay. So so an hour to get to the junkyard or the blackout zone? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything you guys would like to do on the way? Nope. So, okay. an hour. so 24, 23, 4. With all of the time spent here. Eight hours. We're down eight hours. Eight yes. Hours? It took us an hour to get to Lundis, an hour with Lundis, two hours to the processing hub, one hour with the receptionist, two hours in the hub, excuse me, and then eight, and then now an hour to get to the blackout zone. I have that we're at 25 hours to go. We're down eight hours from the thirty-one. Well, I had. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yes. I, I'm. I'm just writing no, down how, mi- how much time oh, we're spending yeah. with people. She's right. Okay. okay. So, right. so that's 23. twenty-three. Twenty-three. Once we've reached. Yep. So we are running out of time. Yeah. No more talking. Mm-hmm. All right. You guys reach the edge of not the main junkyard. But it is, um, this does seem to be sort of a scrapyard zone. It has um, many, like, port drops, uh, elevator shafts. Looks like this building itself used to be something relatively important. Um, There are some warnings posted on the outside. um, And it just says scrap zone. Um, So... Yeah. What would you guys like to do? Can I do a check on the building? You said it was something you used to look important? Yeah, absolutely. Is that so what is that gonna be? Perception or if we're far away? I'll take investigation. investigation. Investigation? That one for free. Fifteen. 
Um, it, it's been broken down. It does look like at some point it was some form of cog factory okay. or cog recovery place. Like they would melt down and reproduce parts, essentially. Um, but a lot of those, uh, anything that's in here no longer works. So something happened that had it shut down. You know that in the basement of the building uh, is the nearest spot to the blackout zone. Okay. I'll mention that. I think we should try to find someone who works here, perhaps get a little information before we go into this unknown void. The thing is, because it was blacked out, I don't think we have a source of information for who does work here. The thing is, it was absent from the network and the consciousness of everyone mm -hmm. who connected to Can I do a check to see if there's anyone around? Perception check, yeah. That's I'm going to do that too. Because they said that people, the jun junkyard is run by people. It's not like the hive. Oh, you're 20. right. 19. You said perception? Mm -hmm. 19. Nice. One. Okay. Um, the junkyard has individual people that will come and, and like junk from it. It is not run by anybody, just just for clarity. Oh, okay. So there's nobody in charge of it. Um, that's why they have the automated recyclers going into the junkyards to basically get raw material, materials and parts out. And there are other people that attempt to do the same job, but basically scrap parts that are not, that are more valuable together um, than they would be as raw material. Because so, the recyclers just break things down into like ore. So the recyclers are stationary at this junkyard. They are not stationary. Can we're, we clarify what exactly the recyclers and things yeah, are? Yeah, Wally. Because I think we're all <laughs> yeah. Different. No, Wally? not Wally. Imagine a keg with Doc Ock arms and legs. Okay. Horrifying. Yeah. Okay. And instead of and instead of a tap, it's got a mouth and it puts stuff in there. And it crushes it. And it fills and up. And it fills up. Oh, it's and kind of clever. It deposits it. Okay. Yeah. So these were going after people for a little bit and then they fixed it. Yes. But and it happens every now and then. Every and now and then it, they go on like a people bender. And they think it might possibly be a hacker. Five reported cases. They do not know. But that was like a theory that, that was, maybe that, something is that, going on. That was a theory. And you guys researched for a hacker. You There's found no eventually. evidence of hacking. Okay. Skynet. Skynet. Tinfoil hat. Skynet. Um, you we didn't, didn't look. look for sentience, and you guys didn't roll well enough to find something you didn't look for. So I wasn't in there. That's okay. <laughs> um, with your perception checks, I will let you know you do not see people. You do not see organic materials around here. You do see some movement, and you do catch um, what looks like three recyclers, um, just sort of going about business around the outside of the building. You can, with a little bit of stealth and a little bit of luck, avoid them. Okay. Uh, are we going to go in here to... Yeah. Wait, so quick question when you mentioned stealthing to avoid the recyclers. If they witness someone who's just in the yard, are, do they have any... Do we know if they have any kind of programming where they just are... That's, do what, they just, that's what we're trying to figure out. They might try to eat us. They might not. Oh, you think, oh, oh, there the was, clarification that it might be a trigger. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, our, our beautiful woman flesh wandering through this place, smelling all nice and human-y. Yeah. Mm. So it's a malfunction that they were going after people. We assume they were not intended to go yeah, after Yeah, they're not intended, yeah. but we're yeah. not sure if we're going to go in and they're going to try to eat us. I mean, do you want to try? We could just blow them up right now, see if they do. I mean, I, I wonder. I think... <laughs> Again, they're functioning parts of the society. So if we just go and blow and shit up, we're going to look real bad. Yeah, I was going to But say if one of them have... does attack us, so if we want to have someone go and yeah, start I, taking my jacket I mean, off. I would like if we could just like up. investigate sort of like what they look like too in case we run into kegs with a... dark out arms. Yeah, if that's, we could investigate like kind of that's what they look like. Yeah. So I think we should stealth so until know. someone wants to make themselves. Bait, basically, I'll be okay. baiting. That we're saying, okay. Yeah, so we can do that just I, to like I, see I how they it. react to it. <laughs> so that's I'm gonna cast passes without a trace. Then nice, thank you. I have to be close ah, to something yeah. to do after that. So I'm gonna cast pass without a trace. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can choose be obvious if you want. No, but I think it's smart for us to stealth Start. first and then. Mm -hmm. So everyone has um, plus ten to their stealth checks. Yeah. 
So I would like all of you to make a stealth check, please. Oh, I needed that. Okay. Man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm really so poorly today. See, a plus that. So 19, 22. Or do we add, we add on top of it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so 22. 16, 15. <laughs> she's invisible. <laughs> she's, yeah, no, she's, she's out there humming. Um, the, so the recyclers have a, pa- a pretty good passive perception because they are intended to find and consume things. Mm-hmm. That is their entire purpose. Awesome. Um, the, so the DC, their passive perception is 16. So if you roll a 16, uh, you Oops. meet it, you beat it. If you are lower, you do not. But I'm going to say it is distracted by Madeline. Awesome. Um, as you guys are, the three of you coming in very carefully, getting into sort of little junk piles, going behind I'm going to say like chests or refrigerators and, and all of those sorts Golly, of things. Golly, what's this? My goodness, there's just so much metal here. What's a girl to do? Yeah, the re- the recyclers, uh, the nearest one, who is relatively close to the sort of fence gate opening, um, sort of, and it turns and it has, um, it has glowing eyes, like head beams. Yes. Little fucking idiot. Yes. Skynet. I don't have a yeah. sword anymore. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait. no, no. Shiloh gave you a sword. No. He gave you a rapier. And didn't yeah. I lose that one too? Oh, mm-hmm. when you stabbed. Oh stab no, it's just, no, it's just, just not plus. It's just not plus one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a battle axe if you need it. I have a scimitar. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to pick those up? I'm a finesse weapon, girl. No, no. no. <laughs> I keep that heavy shit. I'm okay. fine. <laughs> I would, uh, it looks at you. Scimitar is finesse. So if I'm you fine. need it, I can just... <laughs> yeah, I would like you to roll percentile, please. <laughs> 41. Okay. 79. It's... Um, it sees you, and the, what do you do? <sighs> um, I'm going to be hostile. Okay. Because I can't <laughs> hear Jiminy Cricket in the background. <laughs> okay. It, it starts coming towards you. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you help me, please? Oh, you're still moving. Okay. It gets closer to you. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll it's move watching. up. Yeah. It's, it's within like five feet of you now. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. I'm, I'm looking for a piece. For my part, can you help me direct me to a thing? Um, make a <laughs> make a persuasion check. Oh, I wish I was helping make a persuasion check. I'm, it's going to be a base 17. I got this. I'm upward. So 28. Wow. Nice. It looks at you. It looks at you very intently. And its hands sort of pick up. And it, it like very slowly, very cautiously kind of gets on your shoulders, touches, and it just turns you. And then it puts the hands down and, and like walks away. So it turns me around? Yeah. It spins me right around, baby? Uh, it does about a quarter turn towards the building. It faces you to the building. Um, where are the other two? They're like on the other side. All right. Well, didn't try to kill me. So, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> what? You're a good one, Mister Gray. Don't eat people. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Crushing it. All right. <laughs> You guys sneak your way into the building. Um, A lot of the walls and things have been stripped down and out. You can see that there's no furniture here. It is almost to to the studs and slabs. Um, The recyclers, you get the feeling that the only parts of this the recyclers have not consumed. And you can see kind of where they've tried is... um, the only reason they haven't taken the building as a whole is that it doesn't fit in their mouths. Um, so they 
So they <laughs> smile into it. So now. they, so they, they're like, they, you can see like little like chewed bits. Um, yeah, it's ladies' night. You guys all enjoyed that one. Okay. <laughs> so, but they're like chewed bits, but it, but it, they like give up. So if they, and I, I realize this is me, and I apologize. If they can't get it all in one go, they don't do it, or they're just they got tired of taking chomps. Out. Yeah, it, it they're, they're it's um they're designed so like the keg opening is circular. They don't have like eh, like the cheek part that can go backwards. Okay. So when they hit something, it's like they they can only get they can't uh, even really uh, bite it. Yeah, kind of like a Roomba. Like yeah. Uh, okay. They can't get- yeah. Oh, okay. Giant yeah. killer Roombas. Yeah. So, so just say Roomba. So that's why they have the the tentacle pieces because then they can like feed Put parts it. in. Okay. And there are some bigger and smaller ones, but really, it, it would have to take a very big one to go to like the corner of the building to uh, start okay. to chew any of it. Uh-huh. It can they can kind of chew edges and corners, but they don't really get much. And then eventually, they just kind of have to stop because they're not processing anything. Um, and they move on to something else. Cool. So. It's, the rooms are barren. The only thing that is here are like the, the beams okay. that of the building and the concrete that is still on them. Okay. Anything that was smaller or lighter than that has been okay. recycled. Can I do it? Metal. Correct. Can you do a perception check to see if there's any like doors or entrances that maybe like these are like on the like door trap doors sure. on the floor okay yeah. you don't even need to roll there are doorways all the doors have been consumed okay i so. i mean more something that looks like it's leading once we enter oh you want to find like the descent to the basement yeah like if there's uh, anything a, a that looks quick walk around that. you can okay. find that okay yeah mm-hmm. there like there are no doors um you can see out to the rest of the junkyard your stealth rolls that you guys already made are content enough because the recyclers that are out there are busy recycling out there. None of them are in here. They're not mm-hmm. like on patrol. Right. They're not looking for you or for anything really. And they know nothing is in here. So you, you can move about relatively safely. It's maybe five, 10 minutes at most five minutes. Okay. Um, even as big as the building is like you can walk through it and like a house tour and find the um this basement stairway okay as i catch up to them may i investigate for blood or visceral remains yes you may from a keg party gone wrong yeah absolutely Woo, 21 21 um i will say that yes there is no viscera there do look to be some like blood stains, but they also look old. Yeah, no, yeah. Nothing, nothing that is fresh. Okay. Um, but yes, it does look like uh, uh, definitely on the interior here. Um, from your investigation, you can see that it looks like there were perhaps times when junkers or different people, or maybe they, this was the original problem with the factory. Some somebody was in here and got recycled, at least a few times. This was probably one of the sites of of one of those the five great recycling like, breakdowns. Okay. Okay. Since I'm catching up to them, mm-hmm. can I sneak up behind them, going? Make a stealth check and a performance check. <laughs> Stealth and performance. You want to sneak up on Human Tempest? Let's get this party started, yo. <laughs> okay. Okay. So my sneaky uh-huh. is a 19. What is everyone's passive perception? Passive perception is a 19. 13. <laughs> Good, because she's on it. Hey, what's, um, what's your perception bonus? Perception one. So eleven. Okay. So you sneak up on those two. That's a twenty-two performance. It is. There is a creepy noise as you guys are wandering around. <laughs> of what is it? Is it? 
Can I roll actual perception? Sure. <laughs> yes. One time where it doesn't really count or matter, but you know, it's fine. Uh, 24. Yeah, you realize Madeline is fucking with you. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Bro. <sighs> it's me. The god from the book. <sighs> Wave my necrotic <laughs> dead hander. How you doing, girl? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you did you find any blood or hysteria? This right, yeah, a little bit of blood. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Did it's you very, tell? It's very old. Did you tell the woman? Did you? No. Tell? Okay. No, it's very very old. Like probably from when this was placed, still a th- thing working. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I found the door to the basement. Huzzah! Hooray! Right. Then I suppose still soon. Down to the basement, you guys begin to descend. Oh. I will take stealth checks, please. Thank you for letting me. I may I go first so I can check for traps. That's Absolutely. A good idea too. Um, still have three yes. 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 It lasts for a while. Hour. Okay. I got it. Uh, Eleven. Okay. Oh wait, 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 hold on. No, I got a 14. Okay. 15. I swear. 15? Six. With the plus 10? I don't have it because I went to go talk to the Roombas. It's the cast, still on it, you. The spell is still on you. chose to. But I chose not to. But it's still on you. It's still on you. When you're you. within 30. You're just not. No, it's a spell. Or, it's still on you. It's still on you. Oh, okay. I thought I. Okay. It, it, I thought it, I opted it, out of it. You don't. No, no, no. It's still there. It's just. You have to be trying to hide for it to be effective. Mm. Okay. Uh, 16 then. Okay. And my trappage is an 11. Okay. As you're looking through here, this place is far too sterile for traps. It, it, it is very easy to investigate. Um, something would have to be built into the stairs for it to be a trap. Um, Gross. Does it look well maintained? No. Okay. But it's, but it's concrete, so it doesn't deteriorate. Oh, okay. <clears throat> At least not in a, not in this time frame. Is it lit? No, no. it is not Good. lit. We are stealthy, but do we all have dark vision? I do. I do I, not. Okay, I do. I learned, yes. but I do not. Blind sight. Never mind. Um, mm-hmm. So it doesn't say if dark vision is concentration. It just says duration. Uh, then no. Okay, then I will cast dark vision on myself. Okay. There you go. So you you can all see in a gray scale, except for the person that doesn't see in scale at all. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a fairly average descent as far as staircases go. It's just a floor down um, until you are in what is an open, it looks like an open sort of storage basement for a factory. There are perhaps a dozen or about two dozen columns. Um, And you can tell that the basement of this place extends out beyond the building probably to the entirety of the of like that junkyard area. Um, you can, the whole thing is probably 240 feet end to end, perfect square. Um, big, but not, um, not for, I mean, not unsizable. As you guys are looking around, when you get down here, uh, over in the Northwest corner, you don't even need to roll. You can see the lights of what looks like a couple of recyclers. Um, Where do they have the lights? <laughs> so it's the same lights that they looked at you with. They, on the mouth, there there are like headlights. That Apologies. Have okay. Light beams. So it's like car lights. So these are just chilling over in the corner? Um, you see them moving. Um, there are a, There's another staircase. Uh, that is a 
on the just northwest corner. We'll say you guys came in from the South Central area. Just South for, Central. Yeah. Just for clarity's sake. So you can, and it, the light stands out very well mm -hmm. at any distance. Um, they seem to be traveling between that corner and kind of going towards the northeast. They don't seem to care where you are. So they're watching that far side of the basement because we came in the south. Yes, they seem to be focused on the north side. Um, you saw at least two of them over in that northwest corner. And then they seem to be kind of commoting, um, locomoting mm -hmm. over to the northeast. So they just kind of look like they're patrolling. It doesn't look like they're they have not gone back yet. Anything. They are not going quickly, but you okay. see them in the northwest. They did something there. Their lights moved around a little bit, and now they have turned northeast and are headed that way. And they've not spotted us. They don't know where they're at. No, you guys are pretty far away. Okay. Um, at is, this point, and there's uh, columns. There are say, columns. Yes. Cover, is it just mainly like columns, and the fact that we are in the dark is what has prevented them from seeing us? Because yes. I assume there's still nothing in here. It's as bare as the building above it. it. Absolutely. So is. even though it was like like the basement assumed for storage, there's not actually any evidence of that, just the columns Correct. and the space. <sighs> I don't like that there's not a lot of there. But okay. uh, the, there are many columns. The columns are about every 10 feet. You said there's a dozen? Uh, well, there might be more. I'm just going to say that they, set up like, they set up like 10 by 10 grids. But we can see a door on the other side. We you can't can see... only see 60 feet. And it's 240. So the only thing outside of 60 feet that you can see mm -hmm. is, the, is light. the light. Got it. And they haven't looked at a door. You have not seen them look at a door, no. Shall Jeez. we stealth a little closer to see what we can see? I have a question about the room, but are, is, is there any sense that they can climb? Like, can they use their legs to climb? Okay. Daka. <laughs> Duck yeah. off with arms. Duck I like it because they have to be able to climb like the large piles of garbage yeah, and like junk absolutely. to get to different things. So they are just like, that's eight hands. Get it in that much faster. The yeah. fat girl in me was like, I understand. <laughs> they, are, they are very adept. Um, and it is, yeah, it's six. Uh, each one has mm -hmm. six duck off arms. Gross. Thank you. Three on each side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, very, very much um, Spider-Man 2 duck off arms. With the okay, clang clang, clang clang. Shall we stealth yes. forward slightly? Yeah. Shall we keeping we keeping cover? Dun dun dun. Shall we stealth behind pillars? This is the musical episode. Yeah. Definitely okay. <laughs> so we're gonna. Which, which way would you guys like to go? Um, I guess we haven't seen the door, so we don't know if there is one. Left or the right of the far side, but you guys were the two melee people. Mm -hmm. Whichever side she doesn't take, I'll take. Okay. So we're so we're so going up. The pill, so Both of like, us are like, because <laughs> like, that's always works. so the two the two sets of sort of like lines of pillars. They are on like the left and right, and there is a big space in the middle. Or what is the orientation of the pillars? The pillars basically create a ten by ten grid. So they're All dispersed throughout the throughout room. the entirety oh, okay. of the okay. apologies. I assumed it was a lane. I yeah, apologize. So I. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, not a, a lane. Um, you know what? It looks like the pass through tunnel of the north south. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to stay. <laughs> Bring me some water, please. Okay. Um, okay. Bye. Okay. Then I assume. <laughs> I assume we will stay closer then and yes. we will probably just each take like a pillar yeah you guys we will do probably you, be in front well are we going through the center or do you think we should skirt along the walls if there's an opening the wall would help watch our backs because i don't want them to surround us yeah so i would we use don't the know wall as protection yeah so right now you're so you're going to skirt along the wall and yeah. your yeah. ultimate goal is that northwest corner where they came from or are you trying to cut them off and go to the northeast um, and see where they're going. I would just... What's your end goal? Head closer to the northwest. So the place that they have left Just a little closer to from. do another perception check and see if we can see what's there. We haven't seen them go back, right? You, they you, come... I'm giving you guys lots of time. Yeah. They, they are just 
slowly going to the northeast. And they're not going back the direction? They're not, just continuing. Not yet. Would you direction. like to wait and see what they do? We don't have time for that. Okay. I, th- I think it was smart, but we're running out of time. What's the distance between the far 240 northeast? by 240. Okay, so mm-hmm. their their passive perception is rather high. Yeah. But if there's a time window in which we could get to that, we assume that the upper left corner that they came from is where the door is. Yeah. And they're, they're the two hundred <laughs> two hundred feet to travel. Frame then. Um, we have a time window in which we could hypothetically dash over to the left corner to see what's up before they notice us, and maybe even see. Uh, I don't know. Could I could just go say, get them and stab them. We could just sure. pull. Um, there's two of them, right? Well, mm-hmm. there's like over a dozen that we have seen, and there are more that so we don't know just how many there are. We've seen five, right? We've yeah. seen five because they're coming out of a door and going through another door. Oh yeah, did the wait? Did the the lights of their eyes just kind of like appear out of nowhere, or when we? They were down here when you got to. Okay, they were already here. They were here before you. Yeah. Um, they're okay. coming through a door and you, going. You do not know because you can't. Yeah, you have not here. been to that corner, yeah. so you you do not know what is in either of these corners. I think we should go see where they're coming from because there might be someone sending them to do something okay. or yeah. working on them and modifying them uh-huh. somehow. Yeah, and also their focus may be since they all seem to be going kind of the same direction. If their focus is focused on that, maybe they're kind of. You know what I mean? Single, not single focus. Not okay. so much looking for anything, yeah. but more traveling somewhere. I would say definitely stay behind whatever we perceive their line of sight to be because yeah. they can't see us and they might, I mean, based on what their you um, will try. Maybe skirt along the wall. Algorithm is if yeah, they're just let's it on sight. Try. Okay. So we're so we're gonna go to the door that well, the northwest. area so the that they're corner. in the northwest corner they're coming through. And I we should I think we should keep our backs like we should mm-hmm. kind of skirt the wall a little we, bit. Yeah. Um I Stealth guess. checks, please. Maybe I should use a different die, but I want to give you one, one, more, nice. one more chance, yes. my dude. You are failing 25. real hard, so I believe in you. So that's, be that's not bad. I'm proud of you. Talk to your talk to your dice, dice kids. Um, twenty five. I'm adding. I'm still adding a lot. The ten. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be thirty two. Thirty two. Okay. okay. Still check, please, Madeline. We're attempting to focus. There's Madeline. I'm not here. What? Uh, uh, 28. 28. So sneaky. <laughs> you guys gratefully sneak effectively this time. Because um, you know their passive perception is 16. You guys work your way along the along the wall. You're traveling at half speed because you are being stealthy. Mm. All right. 240 feet. And so even if you're dashing, 30 feet. So that will break down into what? Seven rounds? Eight rounds? Eight. Mm-hmm. Eight rounds. As you guys are going, you're sort of matching the speed, as best you can tell, of the Recyclers. They don't seem to be moving quietly, but they're also not in a rush. Um, so you can see their headlights, and you can kind of tell when they've begun to hit the corner. Um, you can hear, although you cannot make out um, in a very cavernous, echoing kind of way, the um, crushing and recycling sounds of them working, essentially. That is, as you guys have made it to the bottom corner. Now you have to travel the same distance up the side. You guys continue to do that. Another eight rounds, carefully going from pillar to pillar, keeping the wall at your back, looking towards um, towards the north, west. You can see the recite. You can hear them continuing to work all, all this while. And you get within 60 feet of that northwest corner. Mm. Um, You guys can see built into or onto this basement. Looks like there was something actually kind of here 
prior to and that the building was added to this perhaps specifically because of this portion of the building. Um, that entire corner in a very geometrical, um, actually, you know, in, in what is, in what is a decidedly slapdash, not quite organic, but artistic way, that corner is filled with what looks like black metal. Um, it's almost difficult to tell that there is a, a hole, like a nebulous chute um, for things to go down. You can see down there, and it does seem to like iris open and iris shut. And it seems to be that at a distance, um, it's shut. Then as you get closer, it opens up, sort of detecting proximity. Like a sensor. Some, somehow, yeah. Mm. Around the edge of this metal, you can see there is a glow to it. While it absorbs light, it has pieces that are sort of green and red, um, and orange, that kind of light up and run through it. Um, they're part of that color. It's part of what tells you that there is a descent down this tube tunnel. Okay, so it's, sorry. So it's a, it's a tube that goes down, but it has an iris opening and shutting. Mm -hmm. And so it's going down, but the reclaim... There it's like a trash chute. Yeah. Oh, I thought the reclaimers were coming out of it. Okay. Trash chute coming into this room or going out of this room? I mean, it's going out of it. Going okay. out of it. At some point, it's all the same thing. So it seems, maybe, it sounds like they're getting something from the other side, chewing it up, maybe tossing it down there. Mm -hmm. From yep. here, does the chewing sound just metallic, or does it sound like there's meat mm -hmm. there as well? Make a perception check at disadvantage due Good. to distance Good. and echo. Everyone? And disgusting this? Uh, yeah, you can all make it. Mian, I'm going to give you just a flat roll for yours because of your nature. Yeah. This is perception, you said? Perception. Nine. 17. Six. At disadvantage? Oh, sorry. So, no. 22. 18. 18? I got a real good perception. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I suspect the wizard would, or the druid would. Yep. Um, you guys can tell that there is, there is some organic material oh, no. being, being chewed up. I will let you guys know two things. One, you know that the recyclers are intended to recycle dead organic material so it might be as okay. well as parts. So it might be corpses that were already dead, yeah. and this is instead of burying, this is how we do it. It might be. Like okay. a morgue kind or, of situation. Right. Yes. <laughs> this is, although this, bar this building is very really buried, there's no one here to like haul back. No, we don't know. But let's. Could, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> could these be the rogue ones that tried to eat the people? Oh hell yeah! And then they just keep them down here, yeah. sort of in a contained environment. Oh, one way to find out. Wee! Okay. You jump down the shoot. Sons the wee, but sons the wee. You goonies down the shoot. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, Is I guess we'll have anybody to do that going because... with her. I'm well, if the shoot opens, they're literally gonna hear it. Likely is not, or I don't know if they will. It's been opening but... and closing. Oh, just periodically? No, whenever you get close to it. Oh, because oh, I assumed that attention. it would be closed. You've at least opened it once to find out that oh. it does open. Don't they already notice that it's been opened? And they're, they're like, the, whoop? They haven't seemed to care. Wow. Well, they might not have audio sensors, right? I mean, they're only yeah. visual. Mm. They, I mean, why would they I was going to suggest going to see what they were eating, but... But we would get too close to them and they would notice Yeah, us so Miku would probably be too scared to stay alone. And her knee-jerk reaction would be to follow you. because yeah. uh, I can I can uh, find a door up. Okay. Because I can stealth pretty good. Here we go. Here we go. I don't have to. <laughs> oh, yes, everyone. I just need to. Well, I'm saying that's what she would think. Yeah, going. no. <laughs> going down a slide. Okay. I really hope we don't take fall damage. Does anyone have feather fall? It no. is. It is. Um, it is an intense psychedelic slide. 
Oh, I would yeah. like all of you to make wisdom saving throws, please. Okay. Is this um, the Willy Wonka book? Is this based on visuals? I will still like a... Yeah. Wisdom save? Wisdom like, save. I can't be affected by that. 23. 23. Is the crap 20 on these? <gasps> yes, it is. Hey, natural 20. Well done. Oh, just, 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 21. 21. Maddie. Four. <laughs> okay. Well, you Whee! did go in first. Yes. I'm the meth squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> meth squirrel unlocked. <laughs> you it's a special a skin New for character. Okay. Roll some stats. Oh, boy. You three. It is a long, windy. It is the black hole water slide of of events. Yeah, that's a throwback back right there. Yeah, it's any any dark water slide. As you guys come, you three get spit out at a. Well, you're not really sure where, but you get spit out. Underground junkyard looks like. And Madeline. Mm. You, as you go sliding through, you begin hearing a wide variety of voices. You begin hearing a tremendous number of people different people. They're all saying different things. It's very much like being in a crowd at a party. Um, and even if some of them are talking to you, it's it's almost impossible for you to understand them. Um, and you begin to feel this odd um, pain uh, rushing through your brain. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Please. Remind me. On exhaustion one, it's ability checks. Or yes, saves? ability checks. Okay, so this is a check. charisma save. This is a charisma save. So actually, all those times you were rolling stealth and yeah. Well, I mean, I, half of that was a disadvantage, or the last couple ones were anyway. So yeah, I apologize. That's okay. Well, it wasn't just you. I think all of you suffered a point of exhaustion. So oh, yeah. not me, not you, yeah. everybody, but Miku. So it would Miku's been. good out here. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? Double checking. Okay. Okay, those aren't right. So it's a, I mean, it's not really gonna matter. A nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, I beg your fucking pardon. Uh, six. Okay. Even better. I would like you to roll me a d20. No, a, a percentile. Roll me a percentile. My fucking phone's pushing this meal. Fuck me up, Maddie. That's not something I should say. Seriously. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. 19. 19. Okay. You're magically cured. <laughs> I find the thing. Definite. I, I am back in hands. And a D10. One. You are paralyzed for a minute when you get spit out. I. As you guys are getting up, the other three of you, you stand up and you can see as you look back, there is an ominous machine that you guys have essentially just ridden through. Um, it is massive and alien. In some ways, it reminds you of the tentacle monster that you had um, dealt with previously, but only in, in the most passing of fashions. There is... Um, essentially like another intake chute where recyclers seem to be bringing things. You can see there are a few of them around here in this underground junkyard that are kind of bringing things and stuffing it in there. Metal and organic alike. Um, can we tell what the organic is? People. Cool. Dead bodies. Dead awesome. people. They're not alive. I was about to be alive. Mm -hmm. They're not so, killing we, people down here. Screaming? Yeah. No, you um, don't. You don't hear any screaming. Rad, okay. I don't hear any screaming. Um, Maddie gets Maddie gets chunked out, and she looks 
catatonic. Ooh. But there is, above the intake port, there is a sort of toothy export. I would like you all to roll investigation checks, please. We are, unless you want to wait for Maddie to not be paralyzed. Um, part Don't of you move wants... up. Don't move up. A minute. Don't move up. Don't do uh, you guys, are, if you have exhaustion, you are Don't at disadvantage. So oh. Not 20. That. Um, so that is... You, said you in... roll any any skill checks. You two, you three, oh, yes. are making are at disadvantage. Yes. So I, got a, I got a nat 20. You said it was investigation? Yes. So that's a 22. 22. Go with a nat 22. Great. <laughs> Eight. Oh, six. Okay. They, you guys are tending to Maddie. Miku, you're looking over this thing, and part of this machine seems tremendously ancient. Part of it reminds you instinctually of looking at a very old tree or a very old mountain, something that predates this city by you have no idea um it's mechanized it reminds you of the living tree metal trees that you see in the biome however it whereas that feels unnatural looking at this thing you couldn't imagine it any other way huh Okay. It is, it doesn't necessarily undulate or thrum, but there is, a, there is a living energy to it. Um, and you see a few different things. There are the intake ports. Mm -hmm. There is a rejection slide, rejection port that you all got shot out of. Those are relatively close to each other. It's a big machine. Over and around on the side, there are a number of, there's like, you know when you see two trees kind of grow together? Mm -hmm. This is that other tree. It's much smaller and very symmetrical, very sort of self-contained. And something you sort of look over there and, and pay attention to it for a few minutes. Um, there is a dark space that has the outline of, of people. Uh, not regular people, though. Um, you've seen them before. It reminds you of Warforged. Uh, that there are these sort of plates. Um, in, and they kind of, there are a few different varieties of them that create kind of like molds for Warforged to be made in. Do these plates look like these people have wings? No. Okay, okay. No, they, they, I had a theory and I'm glad that was not it. No, they look like very normal, very normal Warforged, very, not even caliber. Okay. They look simple. Warforged are never, I would say, simple. Well, I mean, compared no, to caliber. But, but compared to caliber, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a, a question. Did we travel a lot of distance, do we think, down under here? It, you, are unsh you are unsure. How far away are we from the socket altar? Would we have any kind of perception for that? I will take a survival check at disadvantage because disadvantage. you just went through a very disorienting yeah. slide. Would it be double no, no, no. There's no such thing as double disadvantage. That's, that's, are, that's I don't. Just not rolling. Survival, you said? Yes. 21. 21. 16. 16. 18. These are at disadvantage. Yeah, she I rolled, they rolled yeah, really well. They did. So, um, I got a really good time. <laughs> just once. You do not think it is. Connected to the socket altar. This mm -hmm. is very, this machine, that theory too. Yeah. this machine is the nebulous black spot yeah. in, yeah. that you, that you found. It is off center. Um, but I will say that Hadron's watch passes over it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it doesn't seem terribly connected to the functions of the city. Okay. It seems yeah. like it is its own separate 
piece. I will also let you know that there does seem to be car not carved in it, grown in it. The lights create a sort of runic face that look out towards the part where the warforged are made. Um, it's got kind of a beard and eyes and a mouth, nose. Can I make a religion check to I see if I you see that? Or I think I'm the only one who sees this because you said they were tending yeah, to them with their perception checks, yeah. right? Perception. Yes. right? I got a nat 20 in my perception. Yeah. So yeah. Can I do a religion check to sure. see? I feel like I have a... two of my theories were just not right, but I have a theory. Nat. <laughs> Damn, girl. Another nice 20. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Shit, dice. Yeah. Um, so that is 22, but not 20. So okay. do I recognize this? No. Damn, what, I thought it was you... Mechanist. Um, it's Hadron. It's Hadron. It's drawn to okay. look the same as the faces on Hadron's watch. So this is looking over at where the Warforged molds are. Mm -hmm. uh, how far away are they? 20 feet. Do the recyclers seem to be going in that area at all? Nope. No. And nothing is coming down from the other chutes into these molds at all. It seems inactive, like this hasn't been used in forever. That's not, yeah. The okay. Warforged side of this is not active. Um, and because it was a nat 20, I'll tell you, it looks, it looks not used the way something that is brand new, looks not used. Not that it was made brand new, but like somebody opened it and just put it there. And never really used it. And never used it. Can I use... You cast... have woken up at this point. Can I cast Detect Magic? Sure. I cast Detect Magic. <laughs> the machine is very magic. If that's... I just it, is, it is more magic than you could possibly conceive. Okay. It is blinding how magic it is. Okay. And the rec can I also look over at the reclaimers, kind of see if what, what they're doing? Uh, you can make an intelligence check. An intelligence check? Uh, what they're doing? The, yeah. the reclaimers are reclaiming. So they're just, they're just continuously. They're just doing their job. And they're bringing it. Oh, yeah. Because all my theories just died. Um, well, I'm going to. Maddie's okay now? Or a history check. I'm fine. It's gonna be the same thing, I think. Okay. I will I will take I will take history checks from you knew I know what it is. Okay. What is it? It's a soul forge. It is a soul forge. And the only other time I've ever heard of one of these. Can what I do soul forges do? Soul forges transform it's an illegal way of making Warforged. Correction. It is the only way. It's illegal for the Empire. It, it is the only way to make a Warforged. It is illegal in the Empire. We're not in the Empire. To make Warforges. Because they were given rights. And you could essentially create your own voting populace and overthrow the democracy. But it transfers... A pre-existing consciousness and soul into no no one knows where the consciousness for the warforge come from but i mean can't we can't we fucking see this is um everybody make me a history check nine <laughs> Hurry, hold it. these are still well the dice right? give it the dice take it away that's so, a five five Seventeen. 17. No war, for, no soul forge has ever been described as having a recycling section. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they weren't, you know, being green. So it's never been used. Never it's been insanely used. powerful and it's made to look like Hadron. Oh, Hadron's blessing it. What the fuck is this doing down here? I have no idea. I'm sorry, idea. are you 
talking to me. Yes. Cat. <laughs> is it? Is it the? Is it the is it cat. Is it beard? It's the face. Yeah. Yes. It, does it? Does it move or does it just mm-hmm. talk? And what? Does it body voice? I can move a little. Oh. Well, excuse me, sir. <clears throat> um, you have to come over here. I can. I can see you. Right. Uh, how? Is over here. Are we good? Are we, the, the, little, the, the little. Little. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hello. Are we good? Are we good? Hello. Are we good now? Hello. <gasps> Mom's like an antenna. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. No. Don't move that. It was a uh, clear picture. Good. All right. <laughs> Shit. Um, uh, are you Hadron? I am. Well, what remains of Hadron? Were you, were you like us once, like fleshy? Yes. And did you get turned into this? Um, turned into implies. Okay, she's that gonna take knives it, and stick it in her hair. Can't do that. Yeah, right. Implies that something I I chose this burden. What what burden? Well, this is Hadron's salvation. So we didn't actually get a name for this place. Uh lovely. Love what you've done with it. Big fan of the uh the shoot. Ah. Yeah. Yes. I was speechless for a full minute afterwards and you can ask them doesn't happen a lot uh-huh. <laughs> right um what happens here exactly in your salvation we preserve those of the cog of the wheel who is we me and old thumpy and thumpy is the 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 machine the giant. sort of Grinds and you hear it kind of clunk, clunk, clunk. Ah, uh, thumpy. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and what is it you do exactly? So we preserve right. the souls the, the, and consciousness of the devotees of the wheel. You, so you create um, Warforged? No, not yet. And not us. I mean, not yet. Not, not you? I don't make Warforged. We have the Soul Forge as proof of concept. Uh, so what are you preserving them for? Is for there something you're preparing for? Their future. Have you never seen a Warforged before? I have. Where? Once. Where? We spit one out right there. What was its name? I think it decided to call itself up. Up? Yes. Because it wanted to go up. You know, we met a lift earlier. Wonderful chap. Probably one of yours as well. Um, so, as far as you're aware, there's only one war forged in the world. For now. What did up look like? Um, it looked metal and wood and um, very stoic. And he had three fingers. Gross. And his mouth didn't. He describes a warforged. You know what sense I've got you here? Why three? I mean, really, five is a phenomenal number. Can you just, can you tweak? It's more about the specificity. Sometimes if they're too small, they're too fragile and they break. Ah. <sighs> So when you say you preserve the souls and consciousness of the citizens. Yes. What does that mean? We saw that their physical forms were currently being taken care of by those. Yes. um, Gestures over to where I can hear them working away. Yes. Um, but you talk of souls and consciousness. When you say preserve, what do you mean? Do you store them? We do. We store them all in here. And there's a bit of mixing, but sort of how the city runs with its processing hub, we preserve those that are dedicated to the wheel. Hadron, how who knows that you're down here? I don't know. Uh, has anyone else come down to visit you and talk to you? No. How long? 
do you think you've been down here? Oh. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Time here is fucked up. Sweetie, I'll be honest with you. This part of town is rather um, disused. Mm. I. What happens if this becomes forgotten? Mm. Well, I don't think that's part of the plan. What is the plan? Well, I know that I'm supposed to keep an eye out. Clunk, 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 clunk. Okay, that's fucked up that you can wink both eyes. I don't feel safe in this building right now. <laughs> uh, keep a lookout for what exactly? Well, there will be a time when all the people of the city will be in danger. Perhaps killed. And we don't want that because the people make the city. We need people for the wheel to continue. So we are preserving them so that someday they can help again. We, we do not want the city to be harmed or its people either. We would like to help you. Could you help us, perhaps? Help you? Um, what sort of danger will they be in? Do you know? No, but I'm watching. Have you seen anything to indicate what might be dangerous for them? Again, we want to help you protect your people. Mm. Well, no one told me that part. I just know what I'm supposed to do. And how do you keep watch over the people of the city? How do you know what's happening up there? I've got a tower. Hey, watch. Oh, that's literally... Yeah. I'm sorry. It's and... a place. I, I got a whole <sighs> bunch of eyes. No, to be, we didn't know that um, Hadron's... What the fuck is this called? Sing. Hadron's uh, salvation. salvation. We didn't know that you had a salvation. Do you have any other... Body parts? A heart, perhaps? Or a... I don't know. Well, no, but I'm supposed to have one more thing. What is that? I'm looking for my synchronizer. Your synchronizer? Yes. What, what, does, what does that look like? What does that do? Well, I'll see if I can spit one out for you. Not a, like a mock-up. All right. What yes. does it do? Well, so... Someday, we're going to be out of sync. And people are going to need to get to their consciousnesses. So that's going to keep us in sync. And also in sync with everything else. All right. You said you're supposed to know this. And you're to who, who told you about that you're supposed to know this? Or... Was it just a consciousness came to you? No, How do you know all of this I is going to happen? I had some instructions. My friends ended up giving me a book when I was a boy, but it didn't have everything in it. Was it this book? Oh, that looks a lot like it. Further back. So, Further back. So what? this book, where in this book did it tell you something bad was happening? Oh, no, my friends told me that. And who were your friends? Well, there's the offering. That is my best friend. The offering? Yes. Who is a warforged? Yes. And she has wings. Well, yes, but we don't really call her a, a warforged because she was not forged for war, you see. We call her the offering. Yeah. Or a um, soul forge, which is confusing because you see, well, could, I don't have you, thumbs. You can't see me, Chester. Sorry. <laughs> this building, <laughs> this thing here is a soul forge. It's confusing. Could I, you call her by her name? I don't know her name. What did she look like to you? We called her the Grand Design. We called her... The perfection of past and present and future. It was the plan. She was see. truly of a very high caliber then. That's a good way to put it. Okay. 
So here's a small thing, really, sure. as my nose starts to bleed. Um, we've heard tell of murder bots in these parts. Uh, in your infinite wisdom, can you possibly point us out to them? Yeah, those right there. Can you get, are you the one telling them to murder bot kill? Well, no, but we have found that some people, we have to keep the soul forge burning, you see. Otherwise, it will burn out for everybody. So you have to keep the bodies in there? Yes, they must hit the floor every once in a while. I, I often hear that. Mm-hmm. Well done. Just um, alley that shit. <laughs> if there was something that were to threaten the city, sure, you would be able to see it through Hadron's watch. Yes. Your watch? Yes, I was told it would be inevitable. Yes, inevitable. That is a very good word for it. <laughs> and your response to that would be to start using the Soul Forge. Well, no. You see, we put everyone in the Soul Forge here, so and then they can come out later. So if they, the city loses part of its inhabitants, the souls will be put into war The Soul war? Forge. Well, yes. Think about it. To repopulate the city. Yes, but they're not so different now, are they? You can tell the people of the city love being machines. They try to make themselves machines already. I mean, you're right. I can't fault you that. Um, could I ask, uh, since we are new, we are trying to um, learn as much as we can to help you and your people. What exactly is the grand design and your best friend, the offering? Um, how does she fit into it? Oh. What is its purpose? I thought she was the grand design. Yes. Or she's going to be the offering. She's both. Right, but... She's both. So how does she fit into the wheel as the offering? Well, what is she supposed to do once she fits in? I think she's trying to do what wheels are meant to do. Spin. And what happens when it's... Did you get it? Got it. Yeah. 200 pints of organic oil for you. <laughs> 200 gold. <sighs> And, You're welcome. and what happens when it starts spinning the way it's supposed to spin? Well, what is its function besides just spinning? I think we're just meant to keep it spinning. Because if it doesn't spin, well, then none of this happens. So all of this will have been in vain. So... <laughs> Um, is, is there a way that you can get your murder bots to stop? Yes. Wonderful. Um, for the next, probably 24 hours at this point. Yep, less. Sure, no murder bots for 24 hours. You're a real peach, Hadron, I like it. Excellent. Oh. Uh, so when we said murder bots, we meant the particular machines that will eat living organisms as opposed to just bodies. Right, we've got plenty of bodies right now. Good. So let's not make more of them. So yes, that was we don't need to make them. Cause making plenty. Yes. So yes. What? Yes. Let's go back to that real quick. Cause making plenty of dead bodies so for you. Uh, his Let the nice tree talk. His void what? sentinels uh, don't use the consciousness of the people. They're abominations. So we're saving their souls here. Oh. In the soul forge. His void abominations? His right. void, void sentinels. Yes. Do we know about those? You have seen a brief advertisement of them. They, you have not heard a lot of them. Okay. So you and Kor are friends? No. Does Wait. he know you're down here? Seen... No. He's seen. No. Or no. He's seen what this. You've found the bodies. There it oh. is. So Kor is killing people. Yes. And he's using the bodies for the Soul Forge. Not in a, no, not in a negative for void way. Sentence. For void sentence. No, he, Hadron's using them for the Soul Forge. That's what I mean. Yes, not Kor. No, no, right. Kor, Hadron is finding these bodies. He's yes. not using them for nefarious means. He's just finding these bodies and using them. Kor is leaving dead bodies places. Mm-hmm. Is he gross? <laughs> is he <laughs> making any more? Or is he, does he seem to have capped off? Or? He stopped a few, about... A, about 11 days ago now, nine or 11 days ago now, he stopped when we showed up. Lundis showed up. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. 
So you said the wheel is meant to spin properly. Is it not spinning properly now? I think we're getting up to speed. Up to speed. Got it. Yes. It, did he give us the mock-up for the synchronizer? Yes. Yes. He does. What happens when the wheel is spinning properly? I think it sets all of this in motion. And this being? The wheel, the grand design. The birth of Warforged. So many things. What year do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? Wonderful. Um, Hadron, you're an angel? Absolutely. Ah. Uh, oh, what did you call me? A peach. That doesn't sound right. What would you call yourself? No, what did you call me? An angel. An angel. Oh. An angel, yeah. Oh. Oh. Your friends. Yes, yes. we are your friends. We want to yeah. help you and your people. Well, uh, yes. I mean, yes. That's good. That's going to happen anyway. Yes, my friends. Good. I have things for you. Oh. oh. Go around. All right. Go around where? <laughs> to the front to where the, the spit-out tube is. Okay. <laughs> Quick question before we leave, though. Yes. I know we mentioned body parts. And yes. the watchtower is obviously yours, which is wonderful. Yeah. To be able to keep an eye on the city. Yeah. But also, are you... Do you have a space or a place that would be considered your heart? Yeah. Where would that be? Hadron's heart, and you know where it is. Okay, so it is yeah. like beneath. Well, is it? I mean, we've discussed and hypothesized that it is beneath Prime. It or is. It is this. There is an entrance beneath Prime. Okay. Yes. Is okay. there a way to access it so we could make sure everything is running properly for the grand design uh, safely, so it does not attack us? He the, does the not know point. any any other ways. Okay. So, but he knows beneath the Prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what I'm asking is, because it's that's what we have the process, but if he knows a way that we can safely get down or how we access to get down. He does not. He does not. Okay, so we just know it's there. Yep. Um, is there something I can give for you? If I have a gift for you, can I give you one? Sure. Okay, she pulls out a piece of bar. Okay, put it in the ingest tube. The what? Is that where your machines are? Yeah. Are they, are they going to be okay? It's going to go to him. Me? It's going to, yeah, you just toss it down the tube. Okay. Because you have hands. She uh -huh. does the really... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and just kind of like uh -huh. gives it to him. Oh, that's uh -huh. nice. Thank you. Yeah. And he spits out from where you all came out. Um, badges. Oh, you don't need no stupid badges. Yes, we do. We need badges. <laughs> um, <laughs> Multipass. They they are they are sort of black and red cogs, and when when you put them on. Feel your skin sort of thrum a little bit. Um, you know, ah, uh, there you go. I've given you many badges. He spits out like twenty because I don't know how many of you are actually in the city or not in the city. Sure, no, I would not, not have not put it on at first. To be clear, that's fine. <laughs> I would have just. I would have wanted to see if anyone. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you don't have to join the Soul Forge if you die. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all twenty <laughs> over like nicotine badges. <laughs> uh, I have worked. <laughs> okay. Uh, when we die. Okay. Uh, when? So. Or if. Or okay. if. Okay. And that's only here. Um, yeah. So if we, heaven forfend, if we were torn away from this beautiful. Wheel and went somewhere else wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Just inside. But it's pretty. Oh, it's so oh, yeah, no, This is amazing. Yeah. And, this is know, a lovely gift. Me just like this feeling it, feeling the cogs, being like, yeah, sure, this is nice. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Terrible happening. Um, so, do you know what Prime is? Prime. Yes. 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 The large figure which guards your heart. Yes. Do you know if that is? a machine or a living entity or both 
It is um, a bit of a proof of concept, I believe. It was our first Warforged that we enhanced to guard the Soul Forge and my heart. The heart powers the Soul Forge, you see. Uh, so, if it recognized your friends, it would be friendly to us? Sure. Uh, will these badges... The badges? Yes. Ah, oh, good. Thank you so very much. Could we consider that a friend now, too? Uh, I'd call it an acquaintance. An acquaintance. Sure. Good. Yeah, a co-worker that might steal your lunch or give you a side eye. But not want to kill us. I make no promises, but won't immediately kill you. Got it. Good enough for me. Is there anything we can do for you? Yes, get the wheel turning. I've get been the wheel down turning. here for a long time. We've got lots of things to do over. Okay. Thank you so very much for all of your help. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Oh, my name is Miku. My name is Hadron. Hello, Hadron. Hello. <laughs> Did you have a question for the man in the tree? <laughs> What, like Grandfather Willow? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, it was like the Toy Store where they <laughs> the talking to me. F.E.R. Yeah. Schwartz? Y'all. Yeah. Oh, the Toy Store. I heard Toy Story. Uh-huh. I haven't yeah. seen no, it. No, the Toy I Store. Yes. Right. Uh, I don't know what F.E.R. Schwartz is. Is a rec- I mean, I know the store. I don't know what the tree is. There's like a big talking tree randomly in there that'll just like say things. <laughs> there used to be in yeah. some of them. And, okay. yeah. The one down here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Anyways. what that was. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to start <laughs> gathering up all the uh, excess badges so that we can give them to people mm-hmm. should we need to. Maybe yeah. That's decent helpful. And I want to make sure we have the synchronizer. You have the model. The mock the that we could take to reason. Yes. What? Um, yeah. No, no, no. It is... The model is small. The synchronizer is about the size of a large, like, sundial. Mm -hmm. And it is... um, It's sort of like something that would track astrological bodies. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Astrolabe. There you go. Mm. Got it. So, Hadron, after this has been acquired, you're... Uh, synchronizer. Mm-hmm. Uh, where should we bring it? Oh, back here, or is there a location either near your tower or your heart where it must be placed in order for you to successfully resynchronize the consciousnesses of the masses? I think the heart is a good place for it to be. Got it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, I think we should get out of here and maybe go talk to is there, is there Is there a better way out of here other than the uh, shoot or the set stairs? Mm. Oh, hmm. We don't climb as well as you boys do. Why don't you ride them? Will they eat us? He already promised they would not. I'm double check. Are you tasty? No. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> no. Well, no, they're not going to. To eat you. All right. Okay. okay. I'm thinking like now, castle in the sky, riding on the sort of like oh, yeah. the robo robobots. I'm not, I know. I have to work on that. Okay. So we're riding octo kegs. Mm-hmm. I've had yeah, this eggs. Thank you, new friend. Bye-bye. Bye bye. We will do our best to help you. I know you will. You're an angel. You're gonna do great. Good. Thank you. Off Don't. we go, riding our murder bots. <laughs> you look so serious. You'll never get out of it alive. <laughs> uh, 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 get that mad at cat poster. All right. <laughs> Off we go. You guys make it back to the Grease Monkey's pit. While uh, we're there, yeah. I, so I would like to speak to Lundis. I would also like to speak to Lundis. Phenomenal. Very quickly. Uh, okay. Well, not quickly, actually, rather delicately. I would like to well disguise myself okay. to look like Winnie. Okay. And try to do them to look not like them. All right. Make disguise checks. Would you like me to turn into some sort of animal pet? Uh, do you have... Oh, you you would stand them? out. Yeah, because they're no animals. Yeah. They, they, well, take you, the, they take the animals before we come in. Well, yeah. a you could spider hide in hiding pocket. in your pocket or your hair is less obvious than me sure. with her blue skin. No, that's fair. That, yeah, I was uh, just... <laughs> Just helping you pick one. Yeah. So that was going to be something that could easily hide on her. Mm-hmm. So 
Sounds good. Because you're trying to go as someone as none of us, right? Like, mm-hmm. okay, then I'm going to turn into like, do you like scorpions or spiders? Either, but whatever. Okay, I will turn into just in case I need to sting someone. A uh, little scorpion. I have a hide in your hat. She doesn't have a hat. Uh, nineteen. Okay, wear your hair then. Okay. You have a hat right in your arm. She's not Maddie. Winnie She's, doesn't have a hat. No. Yeah, Winnie doesn't wear a hat. Okay, She's well then your up. hair. Okay, nineteen. Yeah, you got a you got a pretty good, pretty good disguise on. All right. Um, are you guys rolling disguise checks, or is she rolling disguise checks I'm, for uh, you? For yeah. so is that, does that have to be individual rolls for each of us? It is individual for each of you. It is a charisma check if it is yourself. It is a dexterity check if it is other people, and you are proficient in disguise. Perfect. So you had your proficiency. So so you're doing it for other people. Yeah, I got you. Because cool. she's proficient. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So one's a nineteen. Um, and one is an 11. The swamp witch's hair is just real, real tangled. Okay. It's real tangled in those, in those horns. Um, and you did, you did the best you could. I don't know. You kind of turned it into like a, like a bump, like a bouffant, like a... Sure, sure, right? sure, sure. But... The higher the hair, closer to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus to Jesus. <laughs> closer to the wheel. Okay. Um... <laughs> An hour later, you guys riding your murder kegs, and after having <laughs> murder kegs, I'm adding that to the metal, Please the list do. of metal bands. I feel like murder keg is the name of the festival. Oh, the murder keg festival! Yeah. Yeah. Sunday, 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 murder keg. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Um, Nebulous void blood at murder keg. Nebulous void blood. I wrote all this down. By the way, it's gonna be a kick ass night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys make it back to the biome. So we are at 21, 23, 22. 22. I I suspect 22. 22, okay. Mm -hmm. Lundus is able to sneak away and catch up with you guys. Wonderful. Well, Lundus. Oh, uh, I mean, he can have some guards. You went through the trouble of disguising yourself. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, you guys, he... He does come to meet with you. Right, um, I didn't, because we need to talk to him. I right. Didn't. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. You you did this the right way. If you hadn't have done that, it would have been, I would have had to okay. make checks and a bunch of stuff. Oh, and he's not Lundis. Uh, uh Senor de Montenegro. It's yeah. been, oh That's my goodness, cute. it's been ages since I've seen you. Is that the Winifred Wilton Smythe? It I is. Me? Oh, kisses, honey. Hello. Oh, uh, Goodness gracious, how are you? I am alive now. This oh, is you exciting are, for and you're me. rolling 4G. Hello, boys. If I weren't married, <laughs> 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 so I'm enjoying the wheel. My, how it turns! It does, it turns so good, so good. And you know, we've super smooth, super smooth. And we've learned so much just you know, poking around a bunch of places. Tell me. So, yes, we've learned all about Hadron. Oh, there is a Hadron. There is. He has a tower and some sort Ooh. of a heart and apparently some salvation. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit deeper to grasp. I find this it's salvation more in the, comes in from the, the... In the root of the one's root. being. Yes, yes it's where in the deep darkness. Oh, yes, that is... That is where one would find the Hadron's Ooh, salvation. That is where Winnie always found this uh, salvation. That's right, that's right. It's, all, it's rooted Ooh, deep. Oh, yeah, deep. Very deep, so but, deep. It, but it is rooted. Rooted. Okay. Yes. Have you have you seen? Have you been saved? No, I have not been there. Before. Oh, wonderful, it's interesting. Very you, few places I get to go. Do you know? Um, you know who I think has been there? Ooh. I think our, our dearest, our um, our dear wonderful kimono wearer. Oh, really? Yes, but not recently. Um, perhaps in the future. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, I think the salvation is not. It's new. Ooh. It hasn't been used yet. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, almost as though it were salvation set up in the past. But for the future. It has not happened. Which would be predictive. Right? Oh, that is, that makes my mind hurt. That is so much stuff. Oh, like, there comes the nosebleed again. Oh, my God, it's the fifth one today. So, I forgot to get that looked at. <laughs> this is a lot. There are a lot of so things much. that we have to do so that we can do the things that we have already done. I know, right? And then... <laughs> Apparently, um, salvation is already stored, though it's all full up. Ooh, ooh, ooh I have a present for you. We is have it, a present. Is it, all, a present. Is it um, all full up? Tiffany. It should not be uh, all full up. Tiffany from Texas, would uh, you please give the nice man a badge? 
Teja. Oh, thank you. I know not this Tejas you speak of. Uh... Tejas, yes, yeah, so it's, it's large. Oh, it's very, very, very big. Uh, only one star. Ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's another point. Um, wonderful tacos. Yeah. Good. They, um, apparently salvation is full. It's not full. Oh, uh, yeah. Salvation's not full. Uh, um, it's not full, but uh, it is a little, you know, um, apparently someone's been storing in there. Ah, lots of stuff in the salvation. Yes. Um, okay. Stop storing when uh, you showed up from what uh, we can figure out, you know, just wasn't enough room for the closet in the closet with all of Senor de Montenegro's clothing. <laughs> I think for clarity's sake, Core stopped creating void sentinels mm -hmm. when Lundis and Caliber showed up. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why. I'm in trying a very coded way. Yes. I apologize. It's probably okay. too coded, but yeah. No, 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 no. no. I, I am. Perfect. I okay. realize I, it's I, not I, full. I, I, it is sure. being. <laughs> it is being. Sure. Used, yes. But it's he stopped. Core stopped. Core mm -hmm. stopped making, making them so, during that time, which is a okay. I am. I am clarifying to make sure that I have communicated appropriate you information have. to you guys. This is the best way to do a test. So. Yeah. Yes. Because so. what you do, you're gonna pretend like you're someone else. You're explaining to me everything I just lectured to you. Shit. All right. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Lundis isn't Lundis doesn't understand why he thinks it is something about um either caliber or them trying to make the deal and that if they were killing their own people it might look bad yeah it's a matter of public image yeah um we need some about synthesizer too the what are what synchronizer oh, sorry Synchron we have a, a we have a thing Make all the pieces match up. Is that is that the thing that he spat out? Yes. We have this thing. Yes. It should be bigger. Also, apparently, uh, you and he and I and uh, Reyesus and Caliber have very similar tastes in literature. Oh. I think perhaps he's the first one to have checked it out of the library. Oh. Before he was a tree. Oh, he's a tree. He's a bit uh, he's tree esque. This, so I told you, root is deep. He's a rather old friend. But he's very old. But before oh. he was an old friend, oh. when he was much like you and I, oh. I think. Okay. I do not know him. I will have to meet him at this. Well, it's safe. Uh, oh, we definitely got the murder kegs ah. to stop murder kegging and ah. just keg. Hey. <laughs> That's the Walton's Mouth guarantee. Oh, this is this is good. Ah yes, this one. This one I have I have seen this one. Yes, yes, this thing. It is but it is much bigger. Where is it? Oh it is um yes, it is uh near the reactor monk uh, monastery place. It is under this uh course control. Under the course control. The the man. Core, core, core. 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 Yes. Too much blood loss. Uh, so he's got yeah. a giant <laughs> no, he has the syn synchronizer. Oh, he has a synchronizer too? Yeah, Kor has the synchronizer. He's the big baddie. I know. Okay. <laughs> He's also getting a big dragon. <sighs> so he, how does he have a synchronizer? I'm a scorpion, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you are thinking like a scorpion right now. Oh no, you you get to keep your stats. So. You and you, but you're a scorpion. Wow, that's <laughs> that's fascinating that scorpion. he would have that. I wonder if he could use it to its full potential, or if things are still undiscovered. I suspect he cannot use it to any potential. I, mean, I think it is his attempt to, how you say enact leverage over the um, super cool savior lady angel thing. That's good leverage. We need to find something better. Yes, I agree. I, do you have any suggestions, dear? We don't have much. My visit doesn't have much time left. And uh, yes. I would very much like to see this visit be fruitful. Yes, 
Nice. Um, and you know me, short of storming the castle. <laughs> I'm out of ideas. I think it is time that we may need to, what do you say? Storm, Storm the, the castle. castle. All right. Let's get me some more beachfront real estate. Or lakefront. Lakefront. It was very nice. It's a nice lake. Yes, very good lake. Strong lake. That's nice good. <laughs> um, Lundis has some pretty limited information at That's this point. Fair. He's he's given he's given just about everything he can. He honestly did not know that you needed a synchronizer. He kind of doesn't know what the synchronizer. He does not. Same dude. He does not know the synchronizer is important. Mm -hmm. He just remembers seeing it when he met with Kor. He does not understand the importance uh -huh. of the synchronizer. We're going to figure out how the hell he got that because Hadron said Kor had never been down there. So either this is a real one or he's trying to make one off of something he saw. This is the timeline's all screwed up. Yeah. This, it's actually not screwed up. We're screwed up in the timeline. You guys are so we're we we are now in a time that exists before Warforged were created, except for the one. We're so far in the past right now. Cool, 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 cool. Tight, 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 okay. tight, 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 huh? tight, 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 just passes out. <laughs> um, so, I, just, okay. I do appreciate that. Um, what I everybody roll me up for some time. I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to see if something happens. 77. 32. How do I roll for 10 rolls again? I totally forgot. <laughs> I do it every time. You, you, you guys at home ever make a session that yeah, broke your players' game, brains? <laughs> <laughs> That's what this entire art has been, my good dude. Sorry. 87. Okay. 92. I was looking for 90 or above. <gasps> yes, Swamp Witch! Yes! yes! Do we win? <laughs> The higher the hair, the higher to Jesus. You guys hear a wind sort of rustle through the, through the leaves. Sorry. Um, <laughs> to the distance. And there are, you can hear animals suddenly get agitated. Oh, and it like sounds this. like the like like bears and wolves are are sort of fighting, and then you hear the cry of uh, you guys would recognize it. The we might not have heard her speak much, but the mage that was accompanying Lundis before, mm -hmm. um, and the soldiers start to look very upset. And he looks at me, what are you standing here for? Go, save her, save her. I am fine. These are my friends. And they, they take off and they start to run through the, into the forest. And then a few moments go by. And stepping out the underbrush, the different leaves and bushes and fronds um, part and peel back as the grass sort of recedes and flattens um, at her approach, um, barely stepping on the ground. These arches of light seeming to hold her slightly aloft with um, nigh-reflective chrome and platinum throughout here, this white, pure silk sort of sweeping uh, around her is the latest iteration of um, of the offering, formerly known as as Caliber. Oh, Maddie drops to an E. That's unnecessary. Oh, darling, you're beautiful. You always were. My God, you clean up nice. I appreciate the compliment. Can I hug her? Ask her. Can I hug you? Well, you're a scorpion. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why. I just have a feeling. I feel like I would have dropped, honestly. Sure. I would have <laughs> dropped that when I saw her. 
Sure. Just unconsciously. <laughs> she, she just <laughs> fall on top of Maddie. Yeah. Her hair. <laughs> sure. Um, oh, she doesn't like hug like she usually does. She's very like almost like I don't know why I'm feeling this, but she's like reverent hugging. Like no, I'm fucking same. Wow. <laughs> she goes in for it. And she will. She doesn't really hug you back, but she sort of places a hand on your head. I've been and, blessed. And, and pets you um, oh. briefly, and then she turns her attention back. Lundis looks over and says, I can tell that this is uh, your doing, this uh, death, death, murder, kill thing. Uh, <laughs> it's my favorite anime. It's um, <laughs> a bit of illusion. Nothing more. Then our time is short. Um, our friends are confused. Well, I would suspect so. Yes, this is all very confusing. You've done well. It would, yeah, <laughs> super smooth. <laughs> she doesn't have now. She's got Optimus Prime face. Oh. Um, so when she when she speaks, like it kind of moves. Let me get it back. We'll see. Um, a lot of the details that made her more human are are lost in grandeur. Um, but you get the feeling she's smiling. Mm. I'm not quite complete yet, but I'll be needing to go. Is there anything I can tell you that might make this easier? Is this is before you were made? And after. What do we need to do to help, I suppose? I think we're a bit lost. As to we want you to be part of the wheel, correct? You you want this. You want to be part of the wheel. I've already been part of the wheel. We know that happens. There will come a time when we don't know what will happen next. Okay. And that that is the time that I hope you all will see me return to my friends. We want to return you to your friends. That's why we're here. It's the entire reason we're here. I know. So how do we do this? For now, just know, no matter what you do, you will have already done it. I like that. Can I do a check? Mm -hmm. What sort of check would you like? I don't know. Uh, insider history. They're both garbage, so. It's insane. Nineteen. What'd you get? Huh? I, I get insight. Advantage, but I'm also exhausted, so it canceled out and was just a straight <sighs> roll. I got a nat one. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Never mind. Fuck! Um, will, hmm? will we need to get the synchronizer to its rightful place? Is that necessary to? save what we can. The synchronizer will be exactly where it's meant to be. Darling, I love this new look on you. It's quite angelic, but can you give me something a little more concrete? You're very, being remarkably cryptic. You can't fail at this. The wheel will turn. 
because it already has. The wheel only gets made if I enter the socket altar. The synchronizer is what makes it all make sense. But what happens to you once you're in the wheel? Every other time, I go back. And what makes this time different? You. Aren't we there every other time as well? Not all of you. So this could go differently than it has before. Since we are here, we are new, we are different. Up to a point. Up to a point. We just want to get you back to Portia and the Animus. And we want to get back to... Back at the time we left, put if you go into the socket altar, yes, we will be able to do this, correct? I will go into the socket altar. The inevitables will come. The city will back. And we will save all of the people within the salvation. They will become what they have always wanted to be. So, all right, so. Hadron, your friend, mm -hmm. is collecting all of these souls already because you know that no matter what happens, the inevitables are going to come. They're mm -hmm. going to destroy the city, but all of the people will already be saved. Their corporeal forms, gone. Not but, all of them, just the ones that are already in the soul forge. As they go, the reclaimers will put them into... The badge keeps us from it. The badge mm -hmm. keeps you from it. So will we be all right? I believe in you. What about Core? Core is a fool. Right, but is he a fool that gets his on his own, like a heart attack, or he slips the tub? Or do we give it to him? I think you'll be more satisfied if you give it to him. Oh, well. Yes. Is this something, is Core his um, uh, grand guardian? Has this always been in every time this has happened? Eurocrits. Yes. He's always attempted. He's always never succeeded. Attempted. Okay. When these reclaimers or the uh, inevitables come, how do we protect ourselves? The reclaimers will ignore you with the badges. Okay, but the inevitables will not. I'm the assuming. inevitables we will have to fight together. How do we fight them? Steal and spell. Steal and spell. Okay. Are you, do you get made here now? Sort of. Does that mean you're here? Yes. Do you want us to save you? No. I don't know that you can. If you save me, I'm not here to go into the altar. But you've already gone. And after I've gone back, then I think we can use the forge to make me anew. So we can remake you? Will yes. it be you? Yes. So it will be you. It will be her. Oh, was that my question? I mean, if this is what you want. I know I'm going into the altar. I know we are fighting inevitables. I know that we will attempt to leave all the clues that we need. We need to make it back to the wheel. I know that we will save everyone that has come here to become warforged again. How, how many times have you done this? I don't know. Wheels have no beginning or end. They are merely progress 
Bundes, do you remember doing this before? To be honest with you, this is the first time I have done literally anything. <laughs> and I used to be dead. That I have done many times. But as far as doing the like uh, circle and the wheel and we do the dead thing, this is all new to me. I just thought, hey, I take my friend to a place. She is no longer part of the empire thing. And then I realized, oh, shit, I took her from one prison to like super shitty extra prison. So to be perfectly honest, Lundis, not feeling so good about this one now. But I am here. I am alive. This is bonus points. And she is looking like super fine. Calm down, Tiger. I'm pretty sure she's a god at this point. <laughs> Let me go the best. Oh, well, put your semi away. Um, <laughs> The entire reason we have come to, I suppose we thought we were trying to save you. We we need you to come back so we can rescue save Hal. Exactly. We would like to go rescue Hal. Why are you not on board with this rescuing Hal plan? Oh, you are talking to me? I am on board with the rescuing Hal. No, I was no. talking to Cal. Oh, Cal. Yes, you hands are hard. We need you to rescue Hal and therefore rescue the rest of the world. So if, if you go in, but we can remake you, the one we remake can come with us it, but it is still you yes got it okay so so you have to preserve the soul forge yes the synchronizer is what we use to steer the wheel got it okay preserve soul forge steer it where well we know we have to drop off the boat we have to meet hadron uh-huh. is hadron is hadron in our time yeah. where where we will find him. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Darling, we have so many extra things. Listen, when we get out of here, yes. apart from the fact that I'm going to need so much debauching, we still have to go to hell. We have Shiloh and I signed some paperwork. Oh no, we have to go fight a lich. We don't have to go to hell. Otherwise, we go to hell. And now apparently we have to add Hadron to the list of things and go get Harl out. Well, let's go maybe for the world-saving then maybe other things, because if there's no world to save, no. Miku, if Shiloh and I don't fulfill this contract almost the minute we get out of here, yes. our souls are forfeit and we go straight to hell and don't come back. So you tell me which one's more important to you right now. You know, we're in a time machine. You can go back to the minute you left. But for fuck, what? Well, apparently we have to go find this Hadron, guys. We're going like 50,000 years back. We will. What? We I think will. we need to go maybe get her some of her drinky we things will get you to a calm drink. down. But, whoa. Wilson's mic will smack you. <laughs> um, okay. uh, once I'm there, you'll have the synchronizer. You can steal the wheel. Steer the wheel. Well done. <laughs> all the points we need to be. The Soul Forge rejoins the world. And the War Forge can be made. You'll have my plans. You can bring me back. And then what happens to the wheel? It keeps on turning or does it explode? The wheel breaks apart when as we travel with it got it it litters pieces all across the world that's what brings people back oh I've got it I understand okay got it it's garbage all right It's a garbage wheel. When it's done, it can keep turning, but we'll make a new me. And that way, I can go with you and leave this old life behind. This is not your origin story that I was told. What is it that you were told? It feels rude to say in mixed company. No, please. Something about a sex slave? I was... I 
I was forged in a soul forge, much like every other. But I was specially designed, created. I was a work of living art. I was someone, was made by someone that found my plans, my designs. Mm. They valued me for the wrong reasons. I met my friends, Lundus, Halyan, Porsche, Nareshki, Gray. They taught me my true value. I thought I destroyed my maker so that I might live longer, so that I might carry the Ark Heart, so that I might be my true self. We're having it made for you. Yes, I think we are, aren't we? Mm-hmm. We found your plans. We're, we're having it made. I know. Oh. <laughs> of course you know. Oh. Can I get it now? Yeah. When you, when we remake you, would you like, what would you like to look like? This looks good on you. The other one did. Something a little more sleek, asymmetrical. I think when the time comes, whatever form you all pick for me will be the right one. Because the truth is, I am all of these people. It has been a very long journey for me to get here. And I could not have done it without being each and every one of them. You've been an extraordinary creature from the beginning, and it's been an honor to know you. You haven't seen anything yet. Well, you're still just as stubborn as ever. I know. Hmm. We're about to bend space and time to our will. Oh dear God. <laughs> and you're going to make it back in time for tea. Tea, bolt, good. <laughs> I know. I thought we were close. And you hurt me like this with tea. Good job, all of you, in the reactor. Thank you. With, with the voidy thingies, you saw that? Of yes, she did. She turns and starts to go. Miku? Yes. Racer. <laughs> More! How do I still have blood to play? Anime knows the ghost. <laughs> She she runs after her and just real hugs, like just really hugs. And she's her back is to you, but the the silken scarves that are around her sort of billow back and cocoon around you. And close to her to her body. She says, We are going to take care of you. And we're going to make everything right. I know you will. And I wanna give her Another piece of bark, but this is one of the special ones that I only have a few of mm-hmm. that is from my home. Mm-hmm. And I want to tell her this is for you. This is very special to me, and I want you to have it. She um she reaches out and you can see um part of her uh palm that's metal sort of retracts, and there are all the pieces that you've left for her. (laughs) 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 Whatever, this game's stupid. I don't care. (laughs) This one is part of my heart. It's the only part I can sort of remember. So this one is special for you. I want you to have part of it. She nods and takes it. Thank you. And she'll stroke your head. We're going to we're going to get out of this, and we're going to bring you back to your friends. I know. Okay. 
Okay. Just wants to go. I am so sorry. Can somebody help me out? So, Reza becomes Caliber? Yes. Oh, man. Oh. Right. So, are we racing to see who gets there first? I call dibs. Sort of what I. This is discovering some new things about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Women that become warforged? Is that your type? Women who prefer metal. What is it called? Chassis. Overalls? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I mean women in general, but unfortunately, no, no, no. It was far more important for me to say no to Caliber than for me to say yes. So that is good. But, um, but Reza, ah, but then that feels dirty. I feel dirty having said that. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I don't. I'll totally take care of it for you. Um, okay. <laughs> is anyone else excited about getting to design a new Caliber? That shall be fun. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's going to be my little pony. <laughs> well, we will make her the best caliber we can. Um, but tomorrow, tomorrow is day of offering, so we must all get some good rest. So. Oh shit! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We still gotta do the hot hard part first. Does sleep go? Does sleep take exhaustion away? It does. Okay. Yes. Well, that sounds like it makes sense, but after a while, I don't know anymore. As long as once she enters the altar, we can get the synchronizer from Kor. Hadron sounds like he is on board. And then we just got some dark void sentinels and maybe a mechanical dragon to kill. That's it's it. Fine. And some inevitables. And some inevitables. That's right. Because we are going to ruin the laws of time and space. To be fair, we didn't ruin them. Someone else ruined them. We were just pointing out glaring mistakes. That is true. We I, I, are, I feel like it is not our fault. It is a grand wheel. It has to turn. What else do you do with a wheel? I get. Uh, uh, we shall see. Maybe at the end we can. Break it. I don't know. <laughs> I've, every time I hear about people breaking wheels, it's like super convenient. You got to stop and you got to jack it up, take it off. You got to How would one even on. jack this place? I don't know. Well, it's it is okay. going to break anyway. So. Uh, this is true. As long as we get my friend out of it in the end, this is what I care about. We are going yes. to get her out. I am on board. Thank you, my friends. I will see you tomorrow, but please get some rest. You too. The guards come rushing back. What well, did you save her? We couldn't. We couldn't find her. Did you check the barracks? Did we heard that? You are not the soldiers. Winifred is standing in front of Miku. Oh yeah. It was suddenly <laughs> Can use my second B shape. <laughs> Go ahead and Loon this push it. Push it down, down. As you as she starts going into it, you here. It's going to go super smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, that is gonna be our show for tonight. Sorry. But I think that's the last of the layers of time travel you need to <laughs> know and uncover. Bullshit. There's always more. That's probably true, but I'm I haven't thought of them yet. <laughs> I thought the it was a nice origin for the race of Warforged. Yeah, it is. It's kind of sad. Well, but they want to be there. But they it, they want it. They that's the thing. These people have always been tied to the wheel. Yeah. yeah. Not all the Warforged that have been made come back to the wheel. That's when they get to live out their their real yeah. lives. Mm-hmm. You know, like lift. Yeah. So it's so it is. Yeah. So it's like a it. That's their proper life, but. Warf Wars are made. They all have a consciousness. Um, I have a different theory for Eberron. But um, but for here, they all have personalities and consciousnesses. And, and they are their own people. They don't remember their old lives. Mm-hmm. But, um, but they are sentient people. And I always wondered where that, um, where that energy came from. And, um, and I don't think it's like a one-for-one thing. I think you get bits and pieces like when you guys were in the the processing hub mm-hmm. so yeah. you're you can start to see i also think that's why the people in the wheel want to become do like the self-forging stuff because yeah. their natural being is as a war forge mm-hmm. they just haven't gotten there yet that's, got it oh. and like then, once it clicked it yeah. clicked and i was yeah. like shit okay i get it yeah, i get it all that's why that's every really time you guys are there all these people are like 
yeah, make me a robot. And you guys are like, this is disgusting. And I'm like, actually, they're they're just trying to be what they were meant well, no, to. To be fair, I'm a druid. You should. No, this no, no. <laughs> no, it's it's absolutely perfect. Cassandra's but... like, fuck yeah. yeah. Like, not so much. Not so much. I'm on board with what you're doing. I appreciate <laughs> it. No, no, no. I see you. I see you. Yeah, but it's um, it's just those little bits that I thought were um were fun because I always enjoyed that bit of story that we had with Caliber, mm-hmm. but um, I'm trying to anytime that you're going and dealing with these old characters, I want it to be something that is insightful to them. So, like a uh you guys had the insight into what the northern lands were like and the dwarven clans and and those devilish contracts lund is coming back from the dead and his sathrian brotherhood you guys have learned a bit of like where he comes from mm-hmm. and, and who he is uh portia and her relationship with her brother as well as the the magic schools like these are all different aspects of society that um we haven't gotten to explore and I always like the Warforged, and I always wanted to have a um, a place for them to come and be, um, and come f- well to come from. Mm-hmm. And that's why when we started doing the Becoming God stuff, I was always thinking that would be um, the Warforged that don't go back to the wheel are looking for a similar purpose, so they start. Building their own garden. Building something in the same way that they built the place they That's, came from. See, it's a wheel. Okay. Yeah. It all comes yeah. around. That's beautiful. Man. Yeah. And it's so that's that's why I was like, you know, when I was trying to figure out the name of the ark, the name of the ark informed a lot because I honestly didn't have all these answers. I had the questions, but I was like, mm-hmm. we'll call it wheels within wheels. And um, and I think the time the circular nature of the time travel. I think the one, just the visual of the clock and of the city, Mm -hmm. the cylindrical nature turning in on itself, um, just all these different, different things. So it's been a lot of fun to explore. I hope it is interesting to play through. I know that it, it can be, it's more investigative and, and we just don't have the time. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. I'm, I am hoping like that you're... It's such a cruel cool world. The wheel is so rad, but we just don't have the time to stop and, like, indulge. Yeah. Because we literally have a timer. Because well, <laughs> we literally don't have time. No, and, and that's part of the reason why I put the timer on there. Yeah. Because there is so, so much yeah. that yes, we focus. could just, like... Get lost in. in. In another game or without a timer, we would spend a game or two digging up the recyclers before you be ever Patreon. yeah before you ever find hadron salvation yeah you know like going to the heart should be its own big episode or two adventure yeah you know? all i will of, say all was... of these things could could really be like really stretched out yeah and it's um i know time travel and the mechanical nature can be a lot for players especially when you're jumping in and out. Um, and so that's why I was trying to just keep it a little more focused, a little tighter. Um, but it is a, it is a cool world. Um, if, if you're wondering, a lot of it is inspired by um, the deck building game Ascension and their, uh, and their McKenna, um, their McKenna card sets. Um, so that's where I'm getting like a lot of the quotes and stuff from. And it's just sort of a weird mechanical inspiration place. I like it because it, it took a lot of role playing and investigating to yeah. find instead of just like we find something and we smash it. Mm-hmm. And then like this took like a lot of actually like yeah. us figuring it out. There, it was a long con, but the payoff now that we understand it's like, whoa, this is cool as shit. Like it's worth some of like the the confusion, a little bit of frustration to get to it because it's like really freaking cool. Like this is cool. I I hope it is. I really like do. it is. But it's nice to have to figure it out instead of being like here it is. Yeah. Not that you do that, no, but you know what I mean. No, like, but I I want it. I, I feel like you guys have earned it, and I'm also hoping that I'm not just dropping like Lord dump, Lord dump, Lord dump, Lord dump. Like you guys have done a really good job about finding places, finding people, finding having good questions about digging up those those sorts of things. There's more payoff. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Look, look at these little baby birdies. They're flying. Yeah. Like, like there, huh? was, there was a legit chance that you guys were going to have to fight the recyclers. But you get, uh, the, the dice were kind to you guys today. Dice were good tonight. Yeah. Thanks, Dice. Well, so, um, I had a great time. We are going to take uh, tomorrow night off. So no scarred lands. But maybe we can do a little chat about it. But you know what is tomorrow? The Power Team Trivia. That's right. Yeah. Hey. Mystic Dunes, Mystic Dunes Resort. Resort in celebration. That's right. So mm-hmm. check that out. If you uh, are not in the Orlando area, also check out our friends over at Indiegogo. Because uh, they do a Tuesday night game. Based in Wonderland. Oh, yeah. 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 Our friends that, oh, that's that right. get to come and play some Ed, Indigo Chameleon. Indigo yeah. Chameleon. Not Indigo Go. Indigo underscore Indigo chameleon. chameleon. Rovar and Keth. Yeah. That's right. Rovar and Keth. Um, if you're oh, on our Patreon, girl. check out their new art we've got up on the art stuff. And then uh, we're going to be working towards getting some podcasts out. So it's a busy week. Um, not quite as busy as we initially planned, but I think it's going to be a really good week. So... Come back. We've got more wheel with uh, wheels within wheels. Disasters in danger on Wednesday. Ooh, first, first. We, the climax. we are getting right towards the end of it, um, and then after that, we've got uh, second edition on Thursday. We've got Cyberpunk Shadowrun on Friday, and Gloomhaven on Saturday. Woo. So um, we will see you next time. Sam can get us ready to go, um, but until then. Be cool.